Can I tell you guys a secret? Guys, I have a confession. All right. In the last stream, I talked a little bit about Age of, Age, Age of Wonders 4. I almost said Age of Empires 4. Also a pretty good game, by the way. Um, I have a confession to make. I've got a confession to make. There's a reason you haven't seen any Civ 6 videos uh, from me in a while. Uh, there's a reason I have been slow to release videos this year. I had high hopes and high dreams for the channel this year. And then I got a DM from one Jonathan J. Whitley. Yay, Whitley. And he said, hey, are you interested in Age of Wonders 4? You want to check out the game? And he sent me the link to this fucking game. All right. And... Uh, I have not been able to consistently produce Civilization VI content since I got that email slash DM because I have done nothing but think about this game every single waking moment of my life. Um, and so that's why I'm really happy today to tell you that this stream is sponsored by Paradox Interactive. Uh, exclamation mark AOW4 in the chat will get you a link to buy the game under my description. My stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, here, here's the link. Here, let me pin that to the chat. Okay. Uh, manually unpinned after the end of the stream. This link right here. Um, I will pin it so you guys can see it. Uh, seriously. I haven't been this addicted to a game um, in probably three months. Because this happens to me on about a three-month cycle. I get addicted to it. Addicted to about four games a year. This game consumes my life, dude. I can't stop playing it. Do you know how painful it Do you know what the worst part about being a YouTuber is, okay? Let me tell you, not about first world problems. Let me tell you about 1% first world problems, okay? When you're the creme de la creme, okay? When you find something really cool, like Age of Wonders 4, and you get to play it before anyone else, you can't tell anyone. Do you know how painful that was for me? That I was having the best time of my life playing a magical... 4x game and I couldn't tell anyone about it Jonathan what have you done to me John <sighs> never message me again unless it's for Age of Wonders 4 DLC then message me um, blame Jonathan Whitley okay for the fact that there has been a lot less Civ 6 videos I've probably lost money because I have been given access to this game thank you for the Twitch Prime um, so welcome to Age of Wonders 4. This is actually, literally, the most addictive game uh, that I'm currently playing. I cannot stop playing it. I think about this game day and night. This is like my next Terra Invicta. I literally cannot explain to you, okay? I'm not being paid to say this. I'm being paid to play the game, but if they gave it to me for free, hint, hint, Paradox, when you make a good game, you can actually just give it to dudes like me for free and I'll play it because I'm a savage addict who just needs his fix, okay? Um, when I... I just, I can't stop, I, I dream about this game. It's like I'm a kid again, like, and I, and I played, like, Civilization for the first time. I'm just like, oh, what if I did this build, and I managed to get over here, and I fought this guy, and I did this thing. I, like, the last time I was this hyped, I think it was for Against the Storm. It's just, I can't, I literally, I can't get this game out of my system, dude. I sit down, and I go to record a Civilization Six video, I record for 30 minutes, I all tab out, and then I'm playing A Wonders 4. Like, like I, I have the most hours in this game out of anyone okay now that's not a review that is just uh i just i have a problem and i'm addicted to this game anyway so today we're going to be playing the lord of nature build that you guys voted for on the youtube uh, do you see age of wonders 4 having a solid multiplayer scene absolutely no idea i am not a multiplayer player i am a single player scrub because i don't like to play multiplayer because i get turbo mad and i scream at people and then nobody has any fun because i start to insult their mothers and tell them that every single uh you know descendant of theirs will probably be um, listed in the DSM-5. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, let's go ahead uh, and play some single player where I can only get mad at myself, which is really how I like to operate. Now, I made a poll on YouTube and you guys voted for the... Um, I made a poll. Here, let me... Let me you know what? Let me... Let me pull up that poll. YouTube.com forward slash potato McWhiskey. I'll pull up the poll, right? We're pull Jamie, pull up that clip. It's funny because my name is Jamie and I'm making the Joe Rogan reference. Um, okay, uh, can I share this screen? Is it, I'm not showing any personal information. Okay, we're good. Share, that's not the screen. 
Ha what? Uh, oh, how do I fit the screen? There we go. So, this was the poll. I said, Age of Wonders 4 stream later today. The highest of voted description of my empire will be how I play. It's a 4x strategy game with magic. And I said, I must return to the world. I must return the world to Mother Nature. I must return the world to Mother Nature. That is the thing that you voted for. Uh, hello, Potato. Is premium worth it or just buy the base? Honestly, when it comes to financial decisions, that is something that you are going to have to figure out yourself. Listen. I understand that you trust me, you appreciate me, and you value my opinion, but here's the thing. I am not you. I cannot make purchasing decisions for you. I can give you my personal feelings and my recommendations. Personally, if I had not bought this game and been given it for free, and I knew it was as good as I currently feel it is, I would buy it, and I would buy the premium. But the reason I would buy the premium is because I have a lot of disposable income because I live in an attic, and I don't have any expenses, okay? And I sit around and I play computer games all day because that's my job and that's the lifestyle that I've designed for myself because leaving the house is genuinely scary. Now, for you, dear Normie, perhaps you should just buy the base game because that is the representation of how much time you're going to be able to invest in the game and how much money you have disposable. Perhaps you could take that extra 30 euro that you're going to put into the game and buy, uh, hopefully if your parents are still alive and you have a good relationship with them, buy them a burger, right? Or a coffee or a little photo frame of a picture of you as a kid, okay? Maybe that, maybe that is worth more to you, okay? You have to make that value decision yourself, okay? I know you can do it. I believe in you. I'm on your team. I can't make that decision for you. Also, can we just say how thick this lady is? I didn't realize how thick she was. Uh, I believe I made her huge, which is why she's a giant. She's actually a halfling, but goddamn, she is. Uh, I think I buffed her with super growth, which is why she is omega wide. Choose your destination. Uh, hello, Windslayer. Hype to see what you got for us today. Windslayer, we're going to terraform the entire world. Now, that menu leader has quite a few transformations. Yeah, this is for my YouTube series that I'm currently working on, Thrindara Herald. We're on episode four. Uh, I have about eight hours of gameplay uh, in total to get to episode four, so it's going to be a good one. Keep an eye out for that on the 29th. I think. I think? 30th? No, when's the game release? Second? It'll be in the next few days. Sometime soon. Now. Uh, okay, we're going to start a new game. I, you know, what kind of world do we want to... Do we want to make a new city? We could play the realm of city-states, right? Islands, artisan kings. Yeah, you know. What kind of... You want to do a super brutal... You want to make the hardest world? I think we should just make a hard world. Is there no story-based campaign? Uh, personally, I don't care about story, but I think this is the story campaign? Um, this is Story Realm 1. I think there might be more of those. I don't know. I don't care about story. I just like doing that. Uh... Was that the premium edition crown? I have no idea, to be honest with you. Uh, Potato, will you ever play Terra Invicta again? Yes. There is a point in the future where I may play Terra Invicta again. I have no plans to, but when the mood strikes, I will do it. Okay, so... I think... I have an idea of the kind of world I want to make. <clears throat> I think it's going to be... a... desert realm. Okay. And the idea here is that this world has been sucked dry. The mana has been sucked out of this world. It has been destroyed. And we have been sent to re-inhabit it, to, to get rid of this desert plague, okay? To bring back the forests and the green and the beautiful world, okay? So I think we're going to make desert provinces common. Have you heard of Songs of Conquest? It's okay. Didn't didn't really a game right? I play I play hundreds of games a year, dozens of games a month, dozens upon dozens of games a month. A game really has to get its finger in under my skin and just scratch around and make me go, man. The librarian. 
Oh, Noctis starts with powerful astral skill. He starts with an additional city. He gains accelerate. And the Weber defeats Noctis is victorious. Cool. Uh, we're going to do, I think, what, what kind of inhabitants do we want to do? I think we should move away from Megafauna. Um, ooh, what about this? What if this was a demonic land and fiends? Story realms have a special victory condition that gives a new pantheon unlocks. I'm guessing probably new story realms. If it's like Planetfall, you may get different realms from different choices in these story events. I have the pantheon here. Um, so I've unlocked some things. Uh, that we're going to play around with. Shall we do a demon infested land that we're returning to... We can make ethereal units common. Low pop makes sense. That that would get rid of seas, free cities. I don't want to do that. Um, I want to pick the type of creature. Or we, we could just have it be none. All this does is it changes the type of creatures that are in the realm, right? So like, fiends will be common, which means that frost and spirit damage are going to be better in this world. Wildlands would be cool. The problem is, the goal here is to... Um, <clears throat> the goal is to re-inhabit the world with nature... And so having it be wildlands doesn't really make happy sense. Stream. Love seeing you happy. Rampant on death. We already did a rampant on death game. Uh let's have variety. Let's just let's just leave it at none and let's have variety. Uh, I'm not going to do a presence. Maybe we can some do some modifications here. Uh we could do a massive underground or a small underground. Forming Realm would be cool. I've... I have a YouTube series that I'm going to be recording as a Forming Realm. What is the meta progression in this game? Uh... The, let's see... Yeah, I think if the world has died, then maybe Ethereal Units is the right choice. So I think I'll take Ethereal Units. Um, Banner Lords, Distrusting Locals. I think Ruined Realm makes sense here, right? Free Cities would be relatively rare. And City Ruins would be common, because this land has been sucked dry and destroyed. Maybe Undead is the right one. Is it Undead I should do? Mm, I'll have it be ethereals. These are like ghosts. Magic origins? Oh yeah, actually. Yeah, magic origins. I like that idea. Just all magical creatures are common. Um, let's have a look. Might makes right. Death casting. Disdain for evil. Underground start. Regenerating. I'm not going to have regenerating infestations because I think that one causes a crash of some kind. I think this is fine. We don't need to add any more rules, right? How are they common if there's no mana? Wondrous Past? I guess that makes sense. That's fun. Um, we could do Domain of Mayhem, which would give every unit a 30% chance of going berserk every three turns. Demon King? Where was the Demon King? I think this is good enough, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and set the difficulty to Brutal Difficulty. We will be playing Standard Player Distance, 7 players, Brutal Difficulty, Classic Turns. This will be the realm of... Oh, do we want to do Continents? He doesn't have Demon Prince yet. Yeah, I think in order to unlock Demon Prince, I have to get all the way down to Abadoth. I haven't... See, the thing is, I've played hundreds of hours, but I haven't actually finished many games. Uh, and I have to delete all my save files. Barren Oceans?
I don't like barren oceans. I'm down with divide. Divide feels divide feels okay. No, I don't like barren oceans. Uninhabited desert provinces are affected by sandstorm. All units are affected by sandstorm. 60% chance of being blinded. Unit can't regenerate. This would be more if I was trying to build, like, Dune. Like, if I was building Dune. Are we just going to play on Dune and try to re... Are we going to try to terraform Dune then? I mean, we can do a Dune. If we're going to do Dune, then we should totally have crystalline abundance. So that spice is very, very common. And then we should make it to be uh, megafauna. Where's megafauna? How do I... How do I make megafauna? Where is that? Am I dumb? No, what we should do, we need to make free cities should be distrusting locals. Right? These are like the Fremen. Oh yeah, I saw it, but I changed against it. Um, now let's do Megafauna. So, we got Barren Oceans, Desert Realm, Megafauna, we're making Dune. Um, we got Distrusting Locals. Let's call it Dune. Dune. Uh, this is Dune's picture. Does it make sense to have ruined realms? I think so. Free cities are rare and city ruins are common. I think it makes sense to... Does Wondrous Past still make sense? Call it Arrakis. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think Megafauna doesn't make sense if I'm returning in world to Mother Nature. I agree. Um, I think Immortal Spirits still makes more sense. Or magical creatures roaming around like like ghosts. Crystalline Abundance. Distrusting Locals. Wondrous Past. And Ruined Realm. I think this is fine. Astral Invaders? Nah, I won't do Astral Invaders. I already have a game going where I'm playing Astral Invaders. <clears throat> Ooh, Dragon Territory. I've already done a Dragon Territory game. I'm going to do this. Magic Orange. Right, this is good. I'm happy. Uh, so, standard difficulty, seven players, brutal classic turns, Arrakis, uh, advanced settings, factions, no custom rulers for the AI, no handicap for the player. Everyone's on very hard difficulty. The starting conditions are hard. The world threat is high. Combat is standard settings. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, what's portal visuals? That's literally just this this picture here. So it just changes this. Just changes what it looks like. Now let's go ahead and create our custom faction to rebuild Dune. So which faction do you think would be? I dollar fifteen zero zero. Hey, potato McWhiskey, my agency. Amp and Go is trying to reach you via email. We sent you a sponsorship offer. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, sometimes I have a hard time getting through to all my emails. So I apologize. Um, but I, if, I, if I see your email, I will respond to it. <clears throat> Rebuilding cat people. Is that a Sean Bean text to speech? You're damn right it is. <clears throat> Let's be tree frogs. Okay, we are tree frogs. Um, water adaption, no. Let me see, right? We'll be adaptable and bulwark. So, what body trait do we actually want? Who are these toads? Hmm. Let's see. We could be tough toads. We could be wolf riding toads, spider riding toads. Let's see. I like the idea of maybe spider riding toads. 
Unicorn toads? No, that's silly. Is it? Unicorn toads? Oh, we could be nature orcs as well, but we'll be, you know, we could be nature orcs. Let's be toads. We, we picked toads. Okay, unicorn toads with what? We're not going to de do desert adaption because our goal is to get rid of the desert. If we have unicorn mounts, we have the phase ability. We'll be able to flank people real easy, which means we should be sneaky and get that flanking damage. Tenacious toads? We should be sneaky druids, I think. Please, they're called Frenchoids. <laughs> dude, you can't say that about Toad. What the hell, dude? Sneaky unicorn toads. Okay, we are sneaky unicorn toads. It's only legal on Wednesdays. It's Wednesday somewhere in the universe. <clears throat> uh, I would like to point out to you that the concept of a Wednesday is merely uh, socially constructed, which means it does have meaning, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it has Step a universal the highway. global meaning. Uh, so, we're going to be unicorn mounts. We'll have plus 10 hit points. We have the phase ability, and our ruler will start with a unicorn. We're also sneaky, which means we get 25% extra damage on flanking attacks. Now, the only two factions, I think it's reasonable to be unicorn riding heroes of the forest. Is probably the feudal and barbarian tribes. I don't want to do mystic. I already have a game going as mystic. Are we, like, are we good people? We're chaotic good toads. Feudal Toads, Green Knight. Barbarian, Force of Nature, Uncontrolled. I like it. Okay, Barbarian, I, 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 I gotta say, I gotta make a poll, starting a poll on YouTube. Uh, feudal or Barbarian? Vote now. So just so you understand, the feudal trait, they get stand together, meaning when their units are close together, they deal extra damage. They also get feudal lords, and they get a really good tier 3 mounted unit, like a super powerful mounted unit. Um, the mounted knight, that is just like insanely powerful. So we could have teleporting knights, okay. Um, their units benefit from stand together. They get lots of food. Um, which allows you to grow your cities quickly. And they also get the Feudal Lord's abilities. Barbarians, on the other hand, they're good at food and draft. Their melee units have Primal Strike, and they get the Ritual of Alacrity. And their Tier 3 unit is a Berserker, I believe. <clears throat> now, the Barbarians' advantage in this scenario is that they're more like the Mongols. They have uh, mounted archers when you go for a mount. Let's have a look. 62% Barbarian. Hang on, let me let me redo the poll because you guys voted before you even knew the choice. Right? We're going to redo the poll. Redo Feudal and Barbarian. You guys voted without even hearing out the difference. Right? Try Vote again. Barbs don't benefit from unicorns. Uh, why do they have two mounted units here? Every faction benefits from unicorns. Why is this guy mounted? Like if I take away... Right, I take away the unicorn mounts. I go next. Notice how the unit here on the left is no longer mounted. See? The knight is still there. This guy's mounted. Not mounted. This guy's not mounted. Normally they don't benefit, but... Right? See, this guy's not mounted. This guy is mounted. This guy is not mounted. But if I go and then equip the unicorn. Now everyone has a mounted unit. 
Okay? Like, even this guy is mounted. They're tier 3 magical dude. Um, so yes, the unicorns do matter. Teleporting doesn't give charge bonus. Sounds like you want to go feudal? No, it was more so that I started the poll before I, ex I explained the differences between the factions. So I wanted to give people a choice. You're taking a mounted trait. You want to maximize your mounted versatility. We can recruit mounted units uh, through books. So, feudal or barbs? I'm going to count down from 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We now it's feudal. But yeah, but people had a chance to hear out the difference. Okay, we're going to play feudal. People voted feudal. Then we got to pick our traits. So we are feudal toads that ride unicorns. Can you explain again? I wasn't listening. You can just roll back. You could, you could scroll back. Listen, 53% of people voted for feudal after they heard the explanation of the difference between the two factions. One win, Barb. <laughs> um... Have other people played Barbarian? Hold on. Now, we could play Chosen Destroyers. And run around destroying everyone else. And just terraforming. If you want terraform, you have to feudal, not barb. What? No, anyone can terraform. I think maybe we should do something like... Adept settlers, so we should be good at settling cities. Because that's our goal. Our goal is to settle and then use our cities to terraform. Then what else do we take? We don't want to take perfectionist artisans. <clears throat> Don't you need a city of terraform? You probably do, yeah. We could be imperialists. Nah. We could be prolific swarmers to get a little bit of chaos into the army. Ooh, actually? Cheaper summons? And Fabled Hunters is like a fun combo. Unicorn plus cannibal? <laughs> no, I don't think we should be cannibals. What's the symbol? That symbol means that it's un unlockable. Uh, you have to unlock this to get access to it. Fabled hunters. We get a bunch of resources for clearing things. Adept Settlers. This saves you so much Imperial. If, if we're going to have to basically settle the entire world. That's the thing here. So maybe we take Adept Settlers and Fabled Hunters. Boom. Boom. Maybe that's what we do. We settle a bunch of cities and we get lots of resources for clearing the map. Now, we don't have to take a nature tome. I think if I was going to take a nature tome, it would probably be the Tome of Beasts. I could take 
another tome. The Tome of the Horde is quite good. It gives you a lot of food, a lot of draft, and makes your tier 1 units cheaper. Uh, Tome of Pyromancy is great because the Ritual Pyre scales off of adjacent foresters and we will eventually... Materium opposes nature, no. Uh, no, nature is opposed by... Shadow. We could take the Tome of Pyromancy and build Ritual Pyres. I do think the Tome of Beasts feels very natural for our faction. Maybe that's what we should start with. Yeah. Let's start with the Tome of Beasts. Do we want to be a champion or a wizard king? You'd say roots? Choose your first tome of magic. Poison, 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 healing, herbalist. Mm. Nah, we want to we, we want to benefit from better cavalry, I think. Yeah. Yeah, look, Marcus Pr Prey makes an enemy distracted. We get 25% extra damage on flanking attacks. This just works so well with us. Yeah, Toma Beasts. What is your ruler's origin? Um Here's the question. If a world that Toads lived in got ruined, a champion would rise to save it. Not this champion. 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 Maybe this champion. Nope. 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 Oh. Nope. Maybe. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let him cook. Oh, yes. Here we go. Now, this is our guy. We're going to be green and green. And we will be a great nature people. Green and white, green and yellow, green and purple, green and black, green and black. Hello and welcome King Frog. Now, here's the thing. Is King Frog a tyrant? Does he use a great sword? Well, if I do this, he doesn't start with a mount. I think he's got to be a melee dude, right? Or would he be a bow guy? Is he into bow stuff? I think the tyrant sword and shield is basically the same as just the regular sword and shield. Just the tyrant sword. Looks slightly more plain. Bow. I would really like a lance, but I don't seem to have the option to get a lance. But I gotta be mounted. Bows are mounted. Spirit orbs are mounted. Sword and shield are mounted. Um, he's, it's got to be sword and shield or bow. I think that's our choice. 
Frog and Hood. Oh my god, that's too good not to do. He's got to be... He's an archer. Uh, this is Frog and Hood of the uh, Toadkin Restoration Movement. Uh, the... Ah, uh, forest alliance. This is Frog and Hood of the Forest Alliance, the Great Pepe Archer. Oh my God, of the rustled Pepe's. No, the rustled Peepos. There we go. Peepos cute. Oh, the Merry Toads! That's it. Frog and Hood are the Merry Toads. He needs a hood? His... No, he, he has horns. He can't wear a hood. Make the ruler a con? Can't do it, sorry. Welcome... To the world of Arrakis, uh, Frog and Hood of the Merry Toads has risen to rise uh, on his unicorns to restore this land to its previous nature. We do start with Call to Glory, which is a buff spell that gives all friendly units in a one hex radius plus five morale and plus one strength. And the higher your morale, the better chance that you have of critting. When you're high morale, you get a 20% crit chance. When you're at low morale, you route the battlefield. Uh, one strengthened just gives you 10% damage. Mark as Prey is quite a nice debuff spell. It distracts her enemy, making all attacks against them flanking. Flanking attacks deal 25% damage. Units in defense mode cannot be flanked. And this also reduces their defense by one. Every point of defense is a roughly 10% increase in your capability of defending. Uh, status resistance as well. So... <clears throat> Frog and Hood of the Merry, Ma the Merry Toads. All right, already we got a pretty hard battle up in front of us. These toads look really pathetic. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, they do not look strong. But let me tell you, we will make it so. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of these resources. And the great city of Denvalton can annex a piece of territory. I reckon we would like to annex the iron deposit first. I'm going to place a... probably a farm here. Yeah, I'll pop a farm there. That will get us the workshop boosted so we can increase our draft and production. Now, uh, this is our city. I'll talk more about the city stuff later. We have an army stack here of four units. I probably could use another melee unit, so I'll grab a second peasant pikeman, and then I'll grab myself an archer when I have the cash. Rename it to Sherwood Grove. That's a good call. There we go. Frog and Hood. Ready to go. Um, right. NPC of Marauder Guard. We need to take these guys out. They got a Nightmare Shock Cavalry unit. We do have the counter to shock units with our Peasant Pikemen. Now, is that a heavy shock unit? No, it's a basic charge strike, so it doesn't ignore Spearmen. Uh, we also got a carry it. I think we can take this. I think Auto Resolve will lose. No, actually. Could I do better? Probably. Let's fight it. Is there not a bonus for building mine on iron? No. There is not. So I'm going to put my spearman here in defense mode. I'll put my hero there. And my archers will go behind here. End our turn and see what they do. So they barely approached us. Which means we are going to approach them. Uh, 
Um, let's move this archer forward two tiles. And we will blast this crow man. Step you forward two tiles. To here. I'll move my hero first to this tile. Move you to here. Uh, I'm going to cast Marcus Prey to try and get this guy killed. I should have done that before this guy fired. In fact, let me go ahead and just... The beautiful, the beautiful restart battle button that allows you to learn from your mistakes. <clears throat> Make the exact same secrets of moves. So here's what should we, we should do. Move you to here. You step forward. You... Go to there. You stand here. Oh, no. Undo that move. You should go to there. And then you should go to there. Then if I mark this guy as prey, that will make him distracted. And we'll do major big damage. One, two. And then major big damage. One, two. Perfect. Even with grazes. Um... You can step one tile to the right. You can step one tile in any direction. Or we could phase and stab him in the ass. I think I'd rather to get some damage on these nightmares. Charge blocked. I'm going to step you one tile to the right. To try and protect these archers. So he will have to go through whatever this is. This sharp thing. Um, and if you shoot him twice, you'll do a little bit of damage. Do I attack with my spearman? No, I think we just defense mode to force him to take that retaliation attack. Okay, my hero took damage. Perfect. Nice. Good stab. Okay. Let's distract the nightmare horses. That'll mean we do... Oh, mega damage. Um, like so. One, two, three. Step you forward a tile. One, two, three him. And then my hero will one, two, three him. And then you will one, two, three him as well. And then nothing he can do will keep him alive because he should get killed if he tries to take any actions right now. Perfect. <clears throat> Those nightmares hit hard? Yes, they do. It's a tier 3 unit coming up against a level 1 hero and a bunch of tier 1 units. Of course it's going to do damage. So I think this is a slightly better outcome. Because my hero has extra movement and I can bring him back to my territory. And he will heal 25 health per turn inside my territory. Whereas outside my territory, my units only normally heal 5 hit points per turn. Right? Outside of my territory, 5 hit points per turn. I can use my hero's superior movement by concentrating the damage on him to recover more health more efficiently. Because he can move around on a horse. Now, in terms of arcane research, I actually really like wild speakers. Um, the ability to conjure animals is really damn good. It's super powerful, this unit. Um, the problem with wild speakers is they don't have a heal. Um, I think I will take animal kinship here. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna lock in animal kinship. And I'm gonna research wild speaker. Doesn't feudal get bannerment? Yeah, but I would like it if this guy healed because you only put so many support units in your stacks, right? There's only really room for like one support unit in a stack. And if you're putting a support unit that can't heal in a stack, well, I mean, you're... You're having a bad time. Ooh. Let's grab this mana node, head right. You guys in position. Oh. 
Some easy fights. Very nice. You should really have followed the road. Oh, a small monster down. How quaint. Why heal if you can just ablate of HP into combat? Uh, I don't have a healing unit right now. Alright, I think I can take this. It's pretty scary. Honestly? I don't think I can. I changed my mind. I think I'd rather take this on. Yeah. Let's take on this node instead. Now, if I auto-combat this, we'll take some losses. So I'm going to retry that and try to win it myself. All right. Um... So I want to tank with my hero. So he'll go here. My spearman will go here. And my archers will stand behind, ready to do the damage. This way we get the stand together buff on everyone. So we can move two tiles on our archers pretty easily. Um, I can clog... Move my spearman to here. I'll move my leader to here. I'll move you to there. You, on the other hand, will go here. Um, I could cast Call to Glory, but instead I'm going to cast uh, Distraction on this skeleton right here. So we can try to take him out. So we're going to mark him as prey. His defenses are sundered. Now we do the big damage. One, two. And a one, two. And that's a dead unit on turn one. Perfect. Potato McWhiskey, are you going to do some PvP streams of this game? Probably not. Let's go ahead and defense mode on my spearman. So that the, my hero looks like a more attractive target. Perfect. Yes. Go for the hero. <clears throat> so the hero can tank. Um, I need to kill this doggy. So we shall distract it. We shall shoot it. I could stab him. So he's going to take another 25 damage if I don't do anything, which is fine. I think we want to kill the Spearman next. One, two, three. Really? You're joking. That was a painful sequence of misses. Uh, yeah, let's stab him. So the Spearman moving. Oh, that was actually great. Um, let's do... Come on, get that kill. Thank you. Alright, now we'll mark him as prey. And if any of these attacks hit... Wow, really? Okay. He attacks back, we stab him and we stab him. And flanked and distracted. Big ol' stab. Ask him for to come. Can you craft your own gear? Or do you have to loot everything? As far as I know, you have to loot everything. So this is a better outcome. Our units lived, although... At lower health, we got the Wand of Poison Darts. This is a tier 1, sorry, this is a uh, open hero screen. So we got 150 mana and the Wand of Poison Darts, which is a tier 1 miscellaneous item. It gives my hero a Wand of Poison Dart action, which he can do every two turns. Or rather, he uses it, and then after two turns, he can use it again. Um, it does 20 damage and has a 90% chance of inflicting poison for three turns. 
Uh, this is a magical attack. We're going to go ahead and take a level here. We can take the Lord of Crops, the Lord of Knowledge, the Lord of Magic, the Lord of Production, Lord of War. We can also take a whole bunch of other skills. I think it's good to take Lord of War on your main hero. Lord of Crops is super good for your capital city, though. That's the thing. As is Lord of Production. Lord of Crops is super good. Um, because it lets you hit tier 3 pretty quick. And lets you claim a bunch of land. Like, tw 25 food is like 5 farms. Um, however, Lord of War gives you 25% of your movement speed back after you win a battle. And it also heals you 5 health. This is pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. I think I'm going to take Lord of Crops. I think I can play around without Lord of War. I'll take Lord of Crops. This will let me grow my city really quick. Um, let's see. Newly founded absorb cities cost minus one. I could adopt a population here. You wouldn't be able to make it back, sadly. Um, so I'll just let the workshop go. I'm going to move you down this way because I want to look for somewhere to plop down a city. And there is a magical material here. This is some focus crystals, which gives you 10 money and 10 research and a 10% experience boost for your units globally. There's also a cursed barrow. Honestly? Somewhere around here might be a good spot for our second city. I'll make that decision next turn after I do a little bit more scouting. All right, I want to pass through this barb camp thing. On the other hand... We could make our way towards these cursed, these things to capture them and integrate them into our empires, right? We could move in this direction because this would only be like a tier 2, tier... This would be a tier 2 city. I would need to have a tier 3 city anyway to annex these. <clears throat> One, two, tier 2, tier 3. Yeah, I would need a tier 3 city to annex these. I mean, we could work towards it. We could have a Cursed Barrels and a Temple of the God here in this city. We don't have to settle right now. We can take we can, we can take our time. We're not in a, we're not in a big rush. Uh, okay, underground passage. Let's scout this way a little bit. My guys, oh, Kingerhelm. Well, this tells me I shouldn't build a city over here then. If there's already a city right there, um, maybe through this mountain pass there'll be a city spot. Look out for the lost wizard. Oh, I'm well aware. I should really send this guy back to heal. Uh, my city has grown. I'm going to take a quarry right there. Because I want to expand in the direction of these things so I can eventually annex them. Um, clergy common, storehouse. Let's make sure we get another archer and then we get a couple of scouts. Let's build the vendor because it's boosted. And the clergy commons because it's boosted. This isn't guarded, so I'll yoink it. That's 45 mana. Oh, we found a watchtower. <clears throat> Do you watch Forthen? Uh, mm, no. All right, so we found Kingerhelm, which is a merry toad city. I will give them a Whispering Stone. I'm going to bring this guy back to heal. This guy's a little bit hurt, so I'll bring him back to heal as well. 
And I'm just going to have a little peek through here. It looks like there could be a city through these gaps. Like a city, we, we could settle a city here, I mean. Is it better to go tall or wide in this game? I think it really doesn't matter. Both have upsides and downsides. Insolate Syrac Court. Oh wow, that is a uh, that is a doom stack right there. Holy shit! We have finished researching the wild speaker. Uh, we can't really do anything with them yet, so we'll just go ahead and pick up animal kinship, which will give us extra damage and critical hit chance when we're adjacent to animals. In terms of development skills, we could get extra food from farms. I don't think we need to do that yet. Wait, underground passage? We don't care about the underground. We're all about the surface world. Nothing leaks, lurks beneath our feet, right? There's nothing down there. It's empty. I'm going to send you east to go ahead and get a city set up. I'm going to look to pick out my next kill. It's probably going to be this location. You step here. I'm going to claim a forester. You want to get one farm, one quarry, and one forester to get all your basic buildings up. I'm going to prioritize getting the storehouse because food is... Because growth is everything for me this game. I need to get to those tier 2 units so I can start recruiting. Yeah, you stand right there and heal. I'm playing so much Planetfall in preparation. Uh, Perilous Dance, call forth a captivating tune, they gain, oh, so I lose some mana, they gain allegiance. Um, I, that's really not a lot of mana, and that's a lot of allegiance, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. I have given them a Whispering Stone, they will get a Pact of Cooperation with me soon. So this is a free city, um, they're currently at neutral with me. Uh, let me have a look, what am I doing? What am I doing? Jesus. Right. You've healed up a bit. You have not healed up at all. That's okay. We don't need to use you to tank. We're up against the Summer Fairy. They have Blooming Life. Next turn we can clear that. Let's just peek over here see what we see. Yeah, I'll build a city here. Right on this mana note. No, if I'm going to build a city here, it should be on this rocky sand province. Yeah, that's what we'll do. You wait a turn, my little scouty scout. Keep on keeping a lookout. We don't want to be inside the red zone because that will encourage them to attack me. So standing outside of it is relatively safe. Yes, that is a small monster den game. I am well aware. Your claimed province has been captured. Tyana Greyblood, a barbarian fanatic isolationist. What are you? Of the Ashen Fae, barbarian fabled hunters, adept settlers. This is like what I am. But she's underground. Huh. All right. She's wary of me. Um, She's pretty strong. She's like middle of the pack power level. She built an outpost right on my border. I hate the way the AI does this. That is just classic 4X game. AI does shit on your border that you don't like. All right, go here. Plop down that outpost. Boom. Take the city settling ability. This will make founding and absorbing cities take minus two turns. Boom. Get into this stack. And let's go take this on. This will give us production. I'm hoping for a good auto resolve. That's not a good auto resolve. I'm going to do that myself. Um, right. Uh, 
So go there, go there, archer, 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 leader. What's the range on this? Range of four. All right. Let's see what they do. Um, I guess we can tackle these guys with our spearmen. Get right up into their faces. Step forward twice. Step forward twice. Step forward twice. We're going to cast Distracted on the dog. Uh, this guy is pretty good at defending against ranged attacks because he has the Windborne ability, I believe it's called. Wind Barrier. 60% harder to hit by ranged attacks. So generally we're going to need to use melee to take him out. Uh, one, two, th okay, we missed. It hits the wrong guy. One, two, there we go, flanked, flanked. And come on, one, two, oh, spreading that damage around. All right, you need to get this kill. Wow, a graze and a miss. Really not showing off the power of range units here. And then he just gets that fat heal. That's annoying. Shock unit. Uh-huh, yep. Um. Oh, hey, you can get this kill. One, two, and three. Thank you. And uh, you can get this kill. One, oh, and two, and three. Oh, not quite. Not quite. But if I were to distract this guy, ah, big damage, one, two, three, ah, ah, oh, you step here, you step here, you step here, kill the doggo, then you kill this guy, boom, 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 perfect. That's what we like to see. Your hit percent chance was low? Listen, dude. I'm an XCOM player. 60% means a guaranteed hit. We got 136 production and the Ring of the Vicious Killer, which means this unit inflicts double morale penalties when they kill an enemy. Whenever you kill an enemy unit, they take a morale penalty to all nearby units. I think there's a certain range. So we have Archery and the Lord of Crops. We should go ahead and choose our next ability. We could take Fighting. This would give us melee attacks. We could take Sprint, which would give us Slippery, Elusive and Swift. Um, which would basically allow us to get out of um, <clears throat> zones of control. We could also take defense to just be tankier. Channel power. Da, 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 da. We could take pack leader. Stand together is pretty good. 20% extra damage when adjacent to another unit with, with stand together. That's quite good. Keeps my leader into the thick of it. Plus 90% is a guaranteed miss though. True. Uh, we have found Dafal Day, the Crusading Croakers. This is a high culture faction. They're experienced seafarers, they're imperialists, resilient and water adapted. Oh. Now, question. A city is being founded here. Mother Trucker. I need to declare war and capture that outpost. You cannot found a city there. The AI does this forward settle shit all the time and it really gets old. I have a justified war goal. Um, so I'm probably going to go ahead and just capture that with a scout. And get into an early war. Annoying. I will be able to make bannermen and defenders soon. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get our second forester. An evil presence is in this land, that's fine. So we need to get over there to them. Let's go ahead and declare the justified war. I need to interrupt her. Um, this will hurt my alignment, but if I can get a peace treaty with her pretty quick. This is turn 9 and we're at war. Um, I will not suffer a, a forward settle. I will be... Raising? If I capture the outpost. All I wanna all I wanna do is prevent it from turning into a city. 
There is a gold vein here. If I clear this gold vein, this will not cost me upkeep, which is nice. Um, need to be careful with you. Um, did I ever step on that watchtower? I probably forgot. Do I see any more watchtowers in the fog of war? Sometimes you can see them if you if you zoom in and scroll around. Uh, animal kinship, ten percent damage, ten ten percent crit hit chance. Hold the line. This means my units can't die for a turn. This is a really good spell, actually. We could cast Animal Kinship. I think I will go ahead and cast that. We also have a new Empire Development skill. Units regenerate an extra 15 health per turn in Friendly Domain. This will allow me my units to actually heal up really quick inside my territory, which I will do. Um, we're still founding an outpost here. That's fine. My alignment is now evil, which is sad. We have ourselves... A scoot who's scooting a boot um, I could use a couple of bannermen I'm gonna recruit two Sorry, I'm gonna recruit uh, two bannermen into my army they have the actual AoE heal that's really useful as well as buffing and then I would like two wild speakers so actually I'm going to get a bannerman and a wild speaker You shouldn't be evil if you just declare war. The reason... No, no, no. We were neutral, but now our alignment is minus 10 evil. When we sign a truce, we'll go back to neutral. It's basically, we declared only a slightly justified war, so everyone's kind of like, okay, that was like a little bit messed up. Um, but if he pieces them out and achieves his war aims, he'll be... He'll, we'll, we'll think him just... just be, he was just like looking after himself. Um, honestly, I feel like Bannermen are just better. I mean, Conjure Animal is really good. That's the thing about Wild Speakers. I'd argue that wild speakers are better than bannermen. I actually super disagree. Um, these guys are way better. Plus 10 morale and 20 temporary hit points. Let's say I'm running around with this stack right here. I can, on the very first turn of battle, bring these guys up from 54 health to max health. So it's as if they haven't taken any damage. Bannermen are so good. Yes, theoretically, if your stack was at full health, a wild speaker is better. But in the early game, temporary health is a huge deal. Um, a huge, huge deal. Trust me, I probably have the most hours in this game out of anyone who has played it. I have over 160 hours in the game as it currently stands. Okay. Um, I definitely want to build a blacksmith, so I need to build a qu second quarry. Uh, we're growing. I definitely want to get an early wizard tower. That five Imperium income is going to help us expand. So I'm going to go ahead and yoink that. Are you at war? Yes, I am at war with the very first person I met was Tyena Greyblood. Um, do I want to build a work camp before I... Now nah, let's just found the city now. Boom. 160, when did you get the game? Sometime in January. I don't remember exactly. <clears throat> Like I said at the start of the stream, the reason you haven't been seeing Civ videos is because I've been playing this fucking game. I could upset Kingerhelm. Um, I could do a nature affinity check. 60% chance that they'll be swayed. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's give it a try. Oh, we succeeded. Easy. Teal Deer. Uh, for people who just joined, is it good? I can't, I can't give you, I can't give you like a review opinion yet. I don't think. I can just tell you I've played it a lot. Draw your own conclusions. So I need to clear this small monster den. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my army up inside the area of influence of this thing. Um, I don't know where she came from, but all I know is she built an outpost here, and a hero must have been nearby. I'm going to build a watchtower so I can kind of see better. 
and you're going to go scouting for me. I must assume she's underground. Okay, literally a dead end. Cool. I've over a thousand hours on Age of Wonder 3, 1 and 2 are my first piece of games. Can I get a sink a ton of time into this? I think I think you're going to have... If, if you liked previous Age of Wonders games, you'll probably enjoy this. Um, it's, uh, it's more of the same. It's like the same thing that you've had before, but just like more of that. Um, so I'm going to place a farm here on top of this iron deposit. Number one goal is we need to get money in this city so that we can so the city is no longer a drain on my gold economy city needs to be net positive uh, you can get another tile improvement I'll take a quarry for 500 Alex yeah yeah no there's a there's a ton of dangerous undead around but I don't need to the guys with the black banners, they don't actually leave. They don't go anywhere. They they stick to their lane. You know what I mean? So they're not actually a threat. Um, so I have two foresters. I'd like another quarry. I would like to build my wildlife sanctuary somewhere in this area. Um, if I put my wildlife sanctuary here, it'll be adjacent to three forests, which will get it plus 15 extra draft, which will let me recruit units much faster. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to take that forester right there because it has a mana node in it, a mana node we have cleared, which will get me 10 mana per turn from that tile, right? Perfect. Then I'm going to come over to my city. I'm going to build the Wildlife Sanctuary Special Province Improvement, which will allow me to start producing animal units and give me plus 10 food. And it'll give me roughly 15 draft once I fully assemble it. Now, the other thing is if I wanted even more foresters, I could build it on a different tile. <clears throat> um, yeah. Uh, city rename. What should we call our second city? Do non-moving stacks grow with time? Yes. Crokerton. Harperton? Froggingham. Oh, Froggingham is good. Notting Frog. Toadingham. I like that better. Welcome to Toadingham. Uh, we can recruit a hero. I'm going to recruit a Merry Toad here. He's an unstable Merry Toad. He's unstable and frail. No, thanks. Ooh. Sensing range. I'll take this guy. He's cheap. He's got a horse. And he's an archer. Boom. Sold. Uh, I'll put him in charge of this city for six food and two gold. New Empire Development Skill. I don't care about pacification. Don't care about these. We need to be looking for our next city location. It's probably going to be over here near the Smoldering Keep. Can I annex that into my capital? Let's count. One. Uh, so, one. Two. Three. Four. Five tiles away. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five tiles. You can go this would be tier one, this would be tier two, tier three, tier four. So you need to be a T4 city. Jeez. These aren't that good. They don't need to be inside your territory, honestly. Okay, so we debated this guy over like we had planned. That's a little bit more damage than I would like, so I'm gonna go ahead and fight that manually. Uh, let's bring you to there and you to there. Uh, 
and you to here, defense mode, bring these archers forward in the configuration that we enjoy. That should be good enough. Heroes, I, I like tanking with heroes. Alrighty. Let's get these spearmen forward. You're just going to defense mode. So that these guys are protected and controlled. You're going to go here and defense mode or attack. You're going to defense mode. This way we have a whole arc of pro power projection. Where these shock units can't get around. And they don't do a whole lot of extra damage to my shield units. This guy will hurt. But we are going to cast the Marcus Prey spell on him to sunder his defense so he has now three less armor right so he, he goes from um five armor to two um do i have a unit with five armor that i can show that that is a big reduction basically it's a big reduction let's see you have a 60 percent chance to hit if you move here you have 100 if you stay here 80 i think is good enough so that'd be 48 potential damage okay there we go I like to see 60% for you. That's kind of sad, but we'll take it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Now, let's bring these archers forward. These archers should be safe. Step forward another tile. Uh, low chance to hit on these guys, but we should have a chance to graze and do just a small chunk of damage. Yeah, perfect. I'll take that. Just discovered this game today and read it, never played a similar series before, or does it have a similar emergent storytelling to Crusader Kings? I noticed this seems to have some similar systems. Um... Uh... I hesitate to say yes. And so I'm gonna say no. All right, let's get this kill. One, two, perfect. Let's mark this guy as prey. Um... I could go stab him. You know, stab in the back, stab. And then I could go stab him again with no stab in the back. Bam, he's done. The reason I hesitate, right? It, this game is nothing like Crusader Kings, but it does have some emergent storytelling, but not in the way people come to expect it from Crusader Kings. Give me a good auto resolve? I could take this. This is okay. Bunch of units level, barely any damage taken. Hell yeah. So we cleared out the barb, barb camp. We get 200 gold, 135 food. Oh, a tier three excessive force hammer. 28 damage, heavy charge attack, ignores charge resistance, damages fortified obstacles. Unfortunately, it's not a lance, so you can't use it on a mount. <clears throat> what happens with lost units? What? So how do you replace units? Oh, you, you recruit them. That is so damn good. Uh, let me see. So what's special about this? It's got relatively high base damage. It does entirely physical damage. It gets 20% damage buff for every tile. It's moved up to three tiles. And has a 60% chance of inflicting stun. Oh. Okay. Well, well, well. Monsieur Toad. Guess what? Uh, your skills are getting reset. And you're now Monsieur Hammer. Can I rename him? I want to rename him. Hold on. You can't rename heroes! Oh. oh, well. So good, sir. You... Oh, just appearance. Ah! Uh, lady. Um, This will be... Smash Toad... Um, Bonkus, the Bonkus, Bra Bonkus Battle Toad, the Bonk people. Uh, actually, Battle Toad should be this Battle Toad, Bonkus, Brain Beater, Brain Breaker. Oh, wait. Bonkus Cheek Clapper. There we go. 
Welcome, Bonkus Cheek Clapper, to the fold. You will be a fighter. Confirm. And you will be my lord of war, in fact. No. Lord of magic? Lord of knowledge. Lord of production. Let's build up those cities faster. The other day it was furry cheeks. Look. Do not question my obsession with clapping cheeks. Oh, here we go. I believe she lives underneath this underground area. Aha, so we have found her potential capital city. Um, let's start moving this way. We need to clear out this node. We're inside our territory. We'll heal 25 health. That's good, 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 good. Uh, you need to avoid conflict. Once you go hit that tower there. Oh yeah, that's a lot of desert. We spawned in like the green area, but there's a lot of desert. Now, one thing to consider. Is that I'm a big dum-dum. And that I don't know what I'm talking about. Because we shouldn't consider that thing that I was going to consider at all. In fact, I would have wasted my breath and your time. All right, map is pretty big. We probably pointlessly explored to the north. There is actually, I would say, a city somewhere near this silver tongue fruit. So I would like you, good sir, can you come down here and have a little peek in this fog of war here, please? We produced a watchtower here. I don't need to found a city here. Syracourt sent a war party. Of course they did. I'm not even in, remotely in a position to defend against that. Um, yeah, start recruiting archers. Daffaldia declared a rivalry on me. Of course they did. The bonking never ends. The bonking shall never end. Oh dear that is a, a lot of shit she got war shans, she got sunderers any buffs yet she just has spawnkin okay we can deal with spawnkin let's drop animal kinship this will give us 10 percent damage and 10 percent critical chance when our units stand next to animal and cavalry units um of which we will now be able to recruit once we finish that wildlife sanctuary um let's get another forester so that this forester province is like, you know, all good. A building like a little stack here. We've started to project power in this area. How do you like the game so far? Uh, I can't really give you like review type opinions, but I have over a hundred and something hours in it. So uh, I must enjoy it. 160 hours or something. <clears throat> so at the very least, I'm, in, I'm, I'm playing it a lot. What that means, that's up to you. Let's build Palisade Walls here so this outpost can't be easily conquered. Draw your own conclusions from that. Do you have any plans to play Old World in the near future? I would... L when I... Fa w like, if I had time, if, if there were 400 hours in a day, I would play every game constantly. There just isn't 400 hours in a day. I'm sorry. So, unfortunately, I have to manage my time. And uh, I do that badly, actually. I'm not good at that. All right, let's go crusade in the underground. See if we can't find her capital. And uh, make her have a bad day. All right, we know there's something down here. Is this mana node unguarded? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Free mana, baby. Have you ever played the game Warlock, Master of the Arcane? Yes, I have. I quite enjoyed it. Oh, Outpost. Why don't you dip into the underground, 
Tell me what you see. Okay, that is her capital city. Excellent. She's building an outpost. It looks like she's building something in there. I'm not sure what. Let's go take on that outpost as well. Uh, my first bannerman is complete. So I'll start moving him off to the east. To the west, rather. Oh, free mana note. I'll take it. Thank you for the mana. No spells yet that I can really use. Ooh. Toadingham has produced a workshop and there is a giant stack of miserable bastards here to ruin my day. Uh, where is Palisades? I need a lumber mill in the city. I'm not going to get a lumber mill. I need to just buy these Palisades so the city can't be sieged down in a single turn. And we will go for clergy commons. I hate that I had to spend money on that, but I did. I didn't have a choice. Let's get a wild speaker. Um, drop me another farm. What kind of build are you doing for us late arrivers? Uh, it is. I am the Lord of Nature. I'm trying to restore a desert world to its forested and green, uh, rightful way. Um, you can see the whole world is basically coated in a desolate desert. There are patches of green land and uh, things like that. But mostly it's sand, it's cliffs, it's rocky. It's all bad stuff. And we're, we're, trying, to, we're trying to fix that. We're trying to correct it. All right, that's a lot more shit than they usually have at this point in the game. Fuck. Okay. So we lose this if we auto combat it. However, <laughs> never underestimate me. Okay, what are we dealing with here? We're dealing with a lot of shit. What's our move? Our move is to draw south. You phase to this rock. Throw your bolt of poison. Boom. You're going to skirmish from range at the start of this battle. The rest of my units are going to draw south. So that we can fight one part of his army at a time. Yep, he wastes his heal. Perfect. Flanked and sundered. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Right, now pull back. Stand inside this defensive terrain. Face this way. Yeah, okay. I, I might have... I, so I did this before, and I had no problem defeating um, the army the enemy sent at me. But this is way more stuff than I'm used to them having. Maybe it's because she went spawnkin. Um, I don't have any healing, unfortunately. That was the big mistake I made. I could maybe I should have tried to piece her out. All right. Let's mark his prey. One, two, three, huge hits. One, two, three, boom. All right, their hero is already dead. That should put their morale in a precarious position. Shoot, I shouldn't have shot with that unit. Why 
One, two, three. It takes a serious hits next turn. I can get that kill. All right. It leaves me so open to this flanking warrior, though. I should have shot the hero with this archer. Can I reload this battle turn? I wish I could just redo a turn. This archer could have shot him. This guy could have shot him. I could have killed two units at no cost. What if we take this kill? Oh, you just obliterate me. We're a tier 2 archer. We have to intercept. So go here, fortify. So he can't flank and kill my hero. If you're here, he fucking obliterates you. Okay. So I guess this archer just is going to act this turn, because if I act, they'll die next turn. Alright, my hero just died. That's bad. He didn't get a reaction fire? Oh, these guys might be slippery. Jesus. Can't cast spells if your ruler is dead. Oh, never encountered that before. That's good to know. Get up in their face. Oh, resisted my stun. Big damage. Big damage. Weak damage. We're dead as fuck, dude. Listen, we might have to do a little restart here. <laughs> it's just a little restart. I should have played more defensively. I was overconfident. Okay? I did this in literally, a, I did this exact thing that I'm doing right now in a different game and it went like so well that I was like, oh, I guess the AI just isn't anything. Uh, lesson learned, AI will obliterate you. At least we're getting kills. All right, so l listen. <clears throat> Overconfidence is an extremely quick killer. Listen, it's fine. We're fine. We're just going to uh, negotiate a peace deal. <laughs> uh Okay, I, we, I can't negotiate a peace deal because we're both in the astral vo void. Um, educate yourselves, dumbasses. All right, this city is being pillaged. We don't have time for that. Sorry. We gotta, we gotta do something else. All right. Um, 
Yeah, not good. I have regrets about how I treated my neighbors. Listen, we're fine. I don't know why you guys are saying safe scum. We're, they're not. My city exists, okay? Boom, we're winning. I don't know what you, don't know why you guys are being weird about it. Okay. Remains of Bonkus Cheek Clapper has been taken by Tyenia Greyblood. She has Bonkus. We need to, we need to get back Bonkus. Hashtag bring home Bonkus, okay? We're bringing him home, boys. Bonkus belongs with his people. Bonkus Cheek, Cheek Clapicus deserves to be a reunited with his people. Bonkus committed no crimes. Released the remains. Uh, I will take the free spirit wolf, please. Got ourselves a nice old free spirit wolf from this. Pack hunter, low maintenance. It's a guardian spirit. It's pretty good. Friendly animal units get stronger. Um, maybe we could recruit some Razorbacks. <laughs> maybe some Wargs. Probably want to increase your city defenses if that's the thing. <laughs> this is that guy. Talking like we're going to survive the next few turns. Psha. Hunter spiders have the web strike ability and poison. Immobilized. These are quite good. Oh my god, what's going on here? Underground camouflage. Spider. Land movement. Forest walk. Forest camouflage. Fighter unit. Faster movement underground. It'll evolve? Wait, I'm not seeing downsides to this animal. Why is the hunter spider so damn based? It evolves into a matriarch. Which is just a bigger, scarier version of what it currently is. Ah. Uh, seriously. Where's the downside? Okay, an infestation, a sent an invasion. At this point, like, come at me, bro. What's the Razorback do? It's a, it's a skirmisher that, um, it's a ranged unit that shoots one shot that inflicts bleed damage, which is like damage over time, physical. Too bad you can't recruit unicorns. Just saying. I'm tired of micromanaging my scouts. Go auto. Oh, my ruler's back. Hey, it's Frog and Hood. He's back. Like he was never gone. Alright, we have Hold the Light. This spell would have been really useful in that last battle, maybe. Call of the Wild. Um, I feel like Signet of Knighthood on animals would be pretty good. Especially pack hunting animals. I can't afford a hero. Yeah, okay. We will. We will retrieve Private Bonkus. Okay? We will return him to his people. I don't care how many things I have to do. Private Bonkers will be reunited. Yeah, you just need to make money right now because I'm building armies. Um, yeah, I kind of just need money. So I'm going to build mines. I need monies to fuel my army. I can't afford a hero, sorry. So she's asking for 400 gold. I can't afford that. 
This is this is to the death then. Should I invest some of my Imperium into forcibly growing my city? Um I don't think that would do much for me. I guess I could get this gold mine. Yeah, it wouldn't do much, so I'll do it once for the gold mine. But otherwise, it's not super great. I could build a levy camp. Let the city grow quite quickly. Let's just produce merchandise. We need to rebuild. Toadingham is under siege. God damn it. She's got two shadow fiends? Bro. Give me a cheap hero. Unstable. Rich. Dude, this is like the worst hero ever. He's got 50 health. And he's frail. Oh, God. Can I cancel something? Cancel a spider. Give me enough money to get a real hero, please. All right, he's a builder. Hey, 30 production. Ooh, Materium Adept. Now that's what we're talking about. Portia, what are your spells? You're a fighter. You're level 3 fighter. You got a great sword, okay. Talitha, what are you? You're a defender. You got vigor. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Do I want Materium Adept or Builder? I'm going to take Materium Adept. Could be useful to have those Materium abilities. All right, second hero acquired. Go join the army stack. Um, you may govern this city for me, Portia. Um, I refuse your peace deal because I can't afford it. Sorry, I, I read that screen really quickly and didn't explain what I did there. She was offering me a, a peace deal. Um, back up. No. Um, red shirt. Uh, replaceable. Side character. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is replaceable red shirt, the side character. The sword and shield. They will be the Lord of. No, you know what, actually? Vigor, restore, boom, all about that health. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't afford this, dude. I'll become their vassal, wizard bond, open borders, share vision, decline. Can't afford it, sorry. Sierra Court says another war party! Should just be renamed Dead Frog. Listen, dude. Jesus. There's so much shit in my borders. Um, gain a free pop. Gain a hundred Imperium. Gain a Bannerman. I need units. Uh, free Bannerman. Yoink. Um, so where can you get to this? You can get to this tile. So if you can get to this tile, you can safely stand here. You can join this stack. Um, replaceable side character, go stand on this. Continue to produce me hunter spiders. I would love to get that extra whispering stone, but I don't have a use for it right now. Need summon spells fast. I got so much mana, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so this is a risky battle. If I auto-combat it, I imagine I lose. Okay, I actually win. 
but I would say fairly decisively against two sh living fogs. So what actually happens in this battle? What do they do that's successful? Let me look at this. TOI 22.00 mons be like I love my children equally. Also mons. <laughs> Okay. Replaceable side character. Okay, I think I could fight this battle way more efficiently. Yeah. Okay, I could definitely fight this battle way more efficiently. They lost a spider and a ranger. I think I can do better than that. Right. The big thing that I'm going to do different is the bulwark standard. You go here. Drop your bulwark standard. Perfect. Um, drop a restore on yourself so you have that regen ticking. Wolf. Prepare. You're in the center. No. You're summoning the unit. You're going there. You're going in the center. You're going there. Bulwark standard. That's 10% extra health, basically. Is that what that spell does? All right. We need to prepare for this next phase of the battle. Let's do a fat unleash the beast on this bad boy. And what does that do again? Killing momentum and two strengthened. Boom. Um, okay, we don't have a whole lot of mana. So we want to save it for Mark as Prey. I'm not going to do a Call to Glory. We need as many Marks as Prey as possible. Let's bring shield guy to the forefront. He's going to shield. Hero is going to dip around the corner and drop a poison blight. Oh, they're immune to poison. Motherfuckers. Why? Because they're undead. God damn it. You get up here, you're going to do a drop a fat web next turn. Um, you go here. You go here. You step this way. You form part of the front line. Okay. Let's sunder the defense of this guy anyway. And then just drop a hit on him. All right, so they just awakened. All right. All right, nice damage. Okay. He comes forward. He hits him. Insanity. Not good. That's fine. I, my hero can tank this. This is... Oh, God. Jesus. All right. Mark him. Drop the web. Boom. Big AoE. Hit him with that fat range. Um, let me have a little think about this. 
He's flanked and distracted. Swordy man, get the kill. You get counterattacked. You're insane! Oh, Jesus! Okay. Let's drop some more AoE shields. You're gonna fall back now. Uh, you've done your job, you distracted. Bird? Bird, bird, bird. Bird is a word. Bird, bird, bird. The AI got insanely lucky with status effects. Now this ghost wolf, I believe it has resurgence, so it doesn't matter if it dies. How did he still have insanity? Jeez. Um... So, we're going to mark him as prey. We're going to pounce behind him. Bite him in the ass. Shoot him in the face. You step here, shoot him. You step here, kill him. Oh! Kill the living fog. Listen. <laughs> I'm working on it. Alright. I'm working on it. It wasn't in a position to where I could kill it this turn. I got rid of the hero, okay? Alright, this time, no insanity. Alright, great. Watch on the hunter. Now we drop Marcus Prey. This time, the living fog comes down. Let me tell you. 70% hit. Oh, I needed to not miss any of those attacks. There we go. That's the crit we were looking for. He's out of range for an Unleash the Beast. If you step forward to bite him in the ass and I unleash the beast on you, okay. Bam. Bam. Oh, there's the kill. One, two. Oh. Now tackle him. Boom. We did it. So the only thing that died was the Ghost Wolf, which has Resurgence, which means it comes back to life, I'm pretty sure. Um, I may as well just pray you. It's 5 mana for a huge DPS increase. And you are dead, good sir. Spider attack twice in a turn. It has the killing momentum buff, which after it kills a unit, it can move again. So, my wolf died, but because it has... Resurgence it is revived at the end of combat if the owner is victorious. Doesn't matter if the wolf dies. Based. <sighs> birds died too. Well, the birds was a summon that came from the wild speaker. No deaths, please. Wild speaker died. Okay, I'm going to have to fight this. So, priority target are these weird little floating snake dudes because they can capture my units. I am not going to get the same sort of leniency from the AI. What I'm going to do, you can get to this tile. You go there. You go there. Oops, nope. Undo. Wait, nope. Redo. Redo. This is actually correct. We're going to do a uh, soothing standard here to refill these health bars. And then you're going to leap. Get in position for that again next turn. 
you're going to summon a beastie. You just go here and get your buff off. Oh, you actually had a restore. I should have used that. Mistake. Okay. You have to understand the situation I'm in. I can't afford to lose any units because I'm under siege from all directions. So I have to win fights perfectly. Um, you're going to go here. You're going to face this direction. And you're going to cast Restore on yourself. You're going to stand here. You're going to stand here. You're going to stand here. This Bannerman is going to stand here. This Bannerman is going to come over and unleash the beast. You're going to come over so you can get that morale buff. And you're going to come here to get the morale buff as well. Then we're going to drop a fat morale and heal. Uh, you're going to drop some AoE shielding. And then you're going to come join the front line. I'm going to hit these guys with Marcus Prey because I need to sunder their defense. Um, the difference here is 0% physical damage reduction, okay, with 66 health, versus if I hadn't sundered his defense, he would have had a 27% damage reduction. So that means for every 10 damage we do, 2.7 of it gets blocked, which gives him a lot more effective health. Okay. They just mind controlled my fucking wool. Fuck my ass. Sorry, that was uh, an inappropriate thing to say. So, how long does this mind control last? Oh, it's just until I kill this thing. Oh god, this thing does so much damage. Uh Dude, the Pope fish is so good. I can kill the spirit wolf. It'll come back to life, okay? The hell is he obscured by? I shot my own birds twice. Are you kidding me? Right, kill this damn wolf. Right, now you're in big danger because you're going to get slapped. Um, you may as well take that. Sunder his defense. Try not to kill these. You've been immobilized, Rip. This hero's dead. There's a reason he's a red shirt. All right, we're good. It's fine. Mark this Shadow Fiend as prey. You move this way this one time? Move. Please don't get immobilized, okay. K 
Kill that Shadow Fiend. Bring him down. Bring him down, boys. Alright, Shadow Fiend down. We need to kill this Pope Fish. Those were not the grazes I needed. Get the Pope Fish, get him! Uh, defense. Oh, I'm getting blasted. Oh, this is actually good for me. This is a summon that I don't care about. Oh my god, mark him as a prey. Please God, kill him. I said please kill him, and I sung it. Thank you. Alright, we got our spider back. Immediately leap into action. Like, actually leap. Boom. Right, this dog thing needs to go. So the only thing I lost was a hero. This was actually a worse outcome, I think. Than the one I got. Was it? Was losing the hero worse? I won the battle, so maybe the hero comes back. I apologize for my loss of replaceable side character, the red shirt. 250 gold. So can I revive him then? Oh, hey. How do I revive him? Let me have a look. I gotta build... Ah, Heroes in the Crypt can be resurrected. Boom. All right. Let's go ahead and get those crypts under construction. We got this. We're good. I think we've successfully defended Toadingham. Continue to produce archers. Sell his remain. Wait, Bonkus is there. <gasps> Bonkus Cheek Clapper is back. <gasps> Hi, Bonkus. Sell him to buy his replacement. <laughs> That's too messed up. That's too messed up, guys. Listen, you guys need to calm down, okay? Okay. All right, we got to think. Let's have a look at her. What she got. Okay, she got an arc fire orb, a robe of resistance, and a warg. I don't think this is worth looting her, honestly. I'd rather keep her in my crypt. Bonkus is not there. Bonkus is there, dude. He's in my crypt. In the crypt in Hornward. <gasps> no. My princess toad is in another castle. Dude, this is... I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with this. I'm super, super mad. What the hell do I do with you, Frog and Hood? Um, let's take Sprint. Sprint could be useful. I, I have seen replaceable side collect. Okay, collected remains. Yeah, of course, my auto scout went down there. That's great. That's 50 gold and 6 gold per turn just down the train. Thanks. Oh, yeah, here comes the invasion. All right. <laughs> All right. Alright. 
He's trying. Someone's trying to steal Kingerheim. No. Listen, I swear to God, my other game. My girlfriend lives in Canada, dude. <laughs> and my other game went oh so goodness. well. I'm, basically <laughs> I'm so mad. Salary. It's turn 24 and I'm getting wrecked. Also, the Eiffel Tower is balls. All right, let's rush the crypt. Boom. And... We can resurrect replaceable side character for 250 mana. <laughs> Somehow I feel like we got the worst outcome. Oh, man. Okay, can we get to this fight? I think we can. Gonna build a road. And I just need to get up in oh there's three heroes here. This is actually a huge win if we can get catch this. Like I'm talking supreme. No, go away. Leave my cities alone. Right, so we're, we're finished with our first tome. Uh, what are we going to get for a second tome? I feel like pyromancy. That feels right to me. I could go for the tome of roots and just go all in nature. I kind of want a little bit of chaos. I feel like I need a little bit of chaos in my life, right? There is something to be said going for the Tome of Faith to be able to get Staves of Mending, which would give all of my support units a heal ability. But I think I need to go maybe Tome of the Horde for the mob camp to let me just spam out units. Let me convert my mana into more units. Pyromancer gives me more mana, which I don't actually need. Let's see, Tome of Warding. Staves of Warding gives bolstered resistance. Magical Ward resists magic damage. Cassatic Shield. I don't see anything here that gives status resistance. It just gives you m m resistance to magic damage. The Tome of Rock, I've never really gone for, but I could get Earthkin for plus one defense on all my units. Nah. I think it's got to be the Tome of Pyromancy or the Tome of Roots here. Really good food and mana scaling. But I really need a way to produce units, so I think I might go for the Tome of the Horde. Being able to convert my mana into units would be really good with some of the regulars here. I really want this ability here, Impressment. To make my tier 1 units cheaper to recruit. So I think I'm going to go for Pyromancy. Yeah. Mm, nah, 
you know what? I think the Tome of the Horde fits better. Tome of the Horde fits better. Let's do it. We got the Houndmaster. The Houndmaster summons a Warhound. Let's go, baby. All right, uh, Fury of the Horde, Spawnkin, Houndmaster. I'm not going to take Spawnkin, I think. It's a really cheap way to up my damage, though. Outpost under siege, that's all right. Replaceable side character is now the governor again. Signet of Knighthood. Let's get started casting that. Empire development skill available. Ooh, cheaper outposts and faster outpost construction. That's good. We'll take that. I should really have my third and fourth city already, but you know. All right, we need to cast. Oh, he retreated to just outside my range. They're not stupid. All right, let's guard this outpost. Let them come to me. See what they do. Um, God, I would like to start recruiting these knights. God, I would like to start recruiting knights. The problem is they cost 20 gold per turn to maintain. Um, I need this mob camp. gonna drop it on a forester boom I need the mob camp so it'll let me produce like cheap t1 units quickly where's his army though she got the second biggest army in the game Fighting for my life out here, lads. All right, let's cast the Signet of Knighthood. Oh, that's eight mana per turn. Ouch. But it'll apply these the um, stand together bonus to my animal units. And my race already has animal kinship, so standing near animals will give me a lot of benefits. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, dom my d domain is being invaded. I get it. It's going to cost me a lot of money to repair the city. I know. My frogs are croaking. Dude, you don't even know how bad I'm getting it right now. It's grim. It's grim out here being a forest warden. Oh my god. Actually, wait. The Furies are the scariest thing here. They're elites. Ooh. If we attacked this stack... Pay the peace agreement? Dude, never. I'm never paying. How do you have so many heroes? Listen, you can have that outpost, dude. I'm sorry. I regret fighting you for it. Give peace a chance? Nope. Peace sells, but who's buying? Have you never heard the phrase forever war? Oh, two heroes isolated. Come on, put my city under siege, you jerk. 
Come fight me. Fight me. I will cast Spawnkin. Right, we just unlocked Spawnkin. Call of the Wild. Friendly animals get stronger. Summon irregulars. Let's me convert my mana into units. I like the idea of summon irregulars. <clears throat> oh, man. What are you doing? You're pillaging. Right. Let's counterattack. Who's in? Who's in for the counterattack? We can hit this hero stack and draw them in with their weak units. Raise your hand. I'm going to quick recruit a hunter spider to add another unit to my army. Let's go, baby. Hell yeah. We're all in. In for a penny. In for a pound. Boom. It's a risky battle. I bet I auto combat win this. 100% I auto combat win this. Easy. Easy. Take the win? Nah, dude. We need to do better. I'm not satisfied with just a win. I need to make them suffer. Shit. I messed up my moves. Hold on. <laughs> there's no Pope Fish and there's no Insanity. Okay. No Pope Fish, no Insanity. This is a good deal. All right. Um, so the thing that I messed up there was that you needed to move here. You needed to go here. You go there. You go there. You go there. You go here, you go here, drop your animal, then you cast AoE shield, perfect. And then we'll do a similar sort of thing. Here, like this, big O AoE. Right, nice. Spiders run. Alright, let's see how he, he comes at me. I think we go for this eastern army. It looks a little weaker, a little bit easier to exploit. Um... Is that a Berserker? He's got tier 3 Berserkers! Go ahead and unleash the beast. Go here. Get in his face. You head this way. You head this way. So I got a bunch of web spiders on this eastern side that are going to immobilize these guys as they try to come in as I deal with this stack. Uh, let's distract these berserkers. 
Probably should have fired when I had the good chance to hit. Oh, there's a crit. Poison him. Damage him. Restore him. And you wait a turn. Right? Perfect. Everyone else defense mode. All right. A little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Oh, he crit me. Crit me. See, now they're coming in, but they're coming in inefficiently. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Right, I need you to just wipe this dude. So he's now steadfast. He can't die until next turn. That's fine. Um, I want to web shot the hell out of this army. Who needs to die? Who's the threat on the board? Honestly, I need to kill the ruler. So I'm going to mark her as distracted and try to make sure every single web attack hits her. There's a web attack. Boom. There's a web attack. Boom. Oh, man. We're talking web attack. Web attack. Another web attack. Oh. You run like hell. That's why spiders are OP. Right? There's a reason people are scared of spiders, right? You... Oh, I really don't want to go into melee. Get that flank, though, dude. Oh, man. You go here. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I need to kill this unit. You need to get into melee with him. Boom, boom. Thank you. You need to die. Kill him. Grazes! Are you joking me? Bro. Right, go here. Drop the heal. Thank you. Um, damage him. One, two, three. Uh, no, I misclicked. Okay, wait. Undo button. Thank God for undo buttons. You know what? The man who invented the the control Z, okay, that is a hero. So many careers, so many lives have been saved thanks to the control Z. Actually, godlike. Are you poisoned? No, you're not. You have a small chance to survive the battle. Okay. He attacked me. No counterattack. That's fine. Uh, okay, dead spider. I can accept the dead spider. No, he zapped me. undo button for sent emails dude this is why everyone in my life i offer them an undo button right if they do something that hurts my feelings that annoys me makes me upset or whatever i'm like listen you got an undo button just apologize and we're good i won't even remember um moral of the story offer people undo buttons okay so the important thing is this guy's flashing white which means he's about to break uh, go ahead and kill this guy. You run up and finish off this scout. We need to lower their morale. Kill. Okay, their morale is very low. They're about to break and start routing. Um, we just need a couple more kills. So can we get a kill on this guy and force a route? One, two... One, two. There we go. There's the route. The enemy is fleeing the field. I will not be letting them flee. I will be hunting them down. I'll be chasing them down. Because I am a goddamn monster. Get. I'm not going to say that one. <clears throat> okay. 
get destroyed, losers. Uh, let's make sure we have a unit adjacent to you so you get the stand together bonus so you do that extra bit of damage make sure we kill these heroes we need to kill these heroes we can't let them escape if the heroes escape they're going to tell the church oh yes five percent chance hit him hit him oh you shot my own unit listen you need to take the most godlike shot ever. Grazed. Okay. Never mind. Okay. One of their heroes escaped. The other hero will not be allowed to escape. Immobilize him. Resist. Finish him. Good shit. Jump. Your jump is on cooldown. Chase him, shoot him. There we go. Hero down. Uh, then I'm just going to auto-resolve. That was a nice crit, actually. He got immobilized. That's huge. Oh, camera went a little weird there. Easy battle. Now, that, my friends, compare the previous version of this battle where I lost like half my stack with this version of the battle where I lost two units. Fuck around, find out, okay? She's in the finding out stage of fucking around. Please, no deaths. Lose a spider? Whatever, I'll take a spider loss, okay? To wipe six units off the board. Um, yeah. How about them apples, eh? Let's get another couple archers to fill out the stacks. Hero leveled up. Okay, this guy got a level. Uh, this is replaceable side character who currently is Vigor and Restore. Um, feudal Ruler Defensive Training. Strength Training is quite good. I'm going to take Defensive Training. Being able to keep my units alive means um, potential winning in the future. Frog and Hood has leveled up to five. Oh man, Signature Ability. Holy Retribution is dog. Doo -doo. <clears throat> I would... I could transform him into a tank. Virulent Outbreak. Defensive training is so good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Defensive training is amazing. It gives your entire stack uh, plus one armor and plus one resistance. Aside from your leader. It's super, super good. <sighs> Draining Blade. Would Wargs trigger your Ghost Wolves pack ability? Yes. Um, but, that's, but Wargs are worse than Spiders, I think. I mean, Holy Retribution is okay if I made him into a tank. Virulent Outbreak is all right. It does diseased and poison. I, I, well, the fact that it's two hex radius is making me reconsider it. Two hex radi radius diseased, right? Minus four resistance to magic damage. I don't do a lot of magic damage right now. It's the only problem with this. But this does have potential. The fact that it's a two radius AoE. Frostfire Detonation... Oh, this is equally just a really solid DPS spell. <clears throat> Holy will do more damage to your enemies. Um, I like the Frostfire Detonation. That has appealed to me. To all units in a 2 hex radius. Listen, dude. I don't care if it hits my own units. Melee, Visions of Woe. I'm going to do Virulent Outbreak. I don't think it's a very good spell, but I'll take it. Um, 
Eventually I want this. Battle Seeker training is okay, but it's not what I want to go for with this unit. Uh, I'll take Archery 2. Gets 10% more damage. Empire Development Skill. Defeating Infestation gives me free units. Uh, I will take Sensing Range. Sensing Range is quite powerful. We captured Leia the Bolt. She's alive too. I could grant her freedom or execute her. Uh, we'll be doing neither. She'll be sitting inside my thing. Oh, another war party. Dude, you already have a war party. I need to deal with Sarah Court. I know I'm hoisted by my own petard here. Oh, he's sending more snacks. Oh. Oh, is that a... That's a tier 3 necromancer arm. Oh, look at that. Yay. And they have astral blood. And, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. This is a hireling they did. You know what? This is not a bad price to not have to deal with Civic Court anymore. Just to make them leave. And then I can repair this city. It's a very expensive repair bill. Are drops working today? I have genuinely no idea. Um, armies healed up, mostly. I could go fight them. Can I wipe this out? Yes, I can. Take that cash, 218. Um, tithe Shrine, Wizard Tower... Wouldn't mind getting the Tithe Shrine. It's a nice 10 mana and 5 gold. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. <clears throat> Let's get another quarry. Yeah, build that town hall, level two. Uh, Blint the Underdelver has declared a friendship with me. That's uh, fantastic, actually. Why not spend your Imperium constantly? Um, because there's nothing to spend it on. Like, okay. Uh, defeating an infestation grants you a unit based on the infestation defeated. Uh, defe I have no infestations that I can currently defeat, so there is no point in taking this trait. Destroying an infestation or conquering a free city grants a stacking 300 relations bonus to all other free cities for 10 turns. I haven't any infestations to clear, nor am I in a position to conquer some free cities. Grant plus one Whispering Stone. I don't think I have the ability to engage in diplomacy with multiple city-states right now. I mean, technically. I suppose I could engage with Syracote. Yeah, sure. I'll take the Diplomatic Channel's ability. And I'll... Uh, I'll give that to Syracote, okay? And maybe, you know what? Let's do Portentium too. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, I'll take the Diplomatic Focus here. And I'll talk to Portentium. I'll give them a whispering. And you know what? I'll even boost my allegiance so that I get ahead of the other guy. Um, let's have a look at the other options. Farms, grant plus five food. I don't have enough farms to make this worth it. Coast and river provinces, grant plus two food. I don't have enough of these to make it worth it. Cities may expand provinces too further away from the center. Don't have a use for this yet. Haven't found any water, so I don't need to be able to embark. I'm not going underground, so I don't need to be able to, able to excavate underground. Uh, I haven't needed to build roads. This is a reasonable ability to pick up, though. Um, each city in your empire loses one population, but immediately summons three tier one units. I don't think I'm in a dire enough situation to do that yet. Province improvements grant plus one stability for each adjacent province improvement of the same type. This really does not give you that much stability. Uh, let's take a look at my capital city. Perfect scenario. It would give me two stability here. Uh, four stability here. 
plus what? So one, two. What is it again? Sorry. Uh, this would be one, two, three stability. So they'd be two, four, six, eight, ten stability. I guess that technically would bring me up to happiness. Sure. Now my city isn't unhappy. But also, Imperium is just a really valuable currency that's worth keeping. Is there a cap for how much Imperium you have? No, but it's really hard to earn. It's really hard to get more of it. Um, I'm going to get a Hunter. You know what? I'm going to go Pillage. This guy made me mad. I don't care if it makes me evil. I don't care. I don't give a damn. All right, we just finished summon irregulars. Summon wild animal. We definitely want summon spells. Let's start casting summon irregulars. Sherwood Grove can annex another province. Um, we could definitely do with a second farm. So I will grab another farm. That'll bring us up to two farms. I would be tempted to build a levy camp. I don't have the money for it. All right, we just finished researching Spawnkin. This is going to be a 20% damage increase in my army. We have to get revenge for Bonkus. They killed Bonkus, dude. Do I just go straight for the jugular? Go straight for her capital city? Um, let me do this. Wild speaker needs to be with you. I need a bannerman for my third stack. You should have a, I, I, you need to have a bannerman in every stack, in my opinion, when you're playing feudal. This pillage will go through next turn. I'm actually going to cancel the Hunter Spider. I'm going to summon an Irregular here. We got a pig. Yeah. Pig can level up. He can be a big pig. Look down here. He becomes a Gortusk Matriarch, which is a tier 3 heavy charge unit that can eat corpses. Um, which is super, super based. Unfortunately, I've been kind of forced into pillaging. Okay, here's an opportunity again. They split up their army into this weird double stack thing. And I can probably eat it piecemeal. All right, so we'll fight these three stacks. We've got two berserkers, two furies, two no, a fury and a hound master, a war shaman, a warrior, berserker, necromancer, Okay, so we actually don't have to fight any of their heroes in this first battle. We can just take out a huge chunk of their army. Um, that's big. Let's make our tier 1 units cheaper to maintain. That'll save me like 20 gold per turn. <clears throat> Alright. Um, yeah, we want to attack this. This is their weak point.
What's the combat range? So the research post ruins is the combat range. Oh, you could just barely not make it. Oh, no. All right, so this is a risky battle. I should be, I should win this auto combat, I think. Really? Okay. Let's see what went on here. Mmm, <clears throat> we're fighting on a magic node. Who was it that said the, the auto combat AI is really good? I want to talk to that guy. Okay, first things first, we need to get efficient use of our bannerman. Um... You go there. I just want to talk, okay? Boom. Stand together. This will get us AoE defensive buffs. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go there. Summon a doggo. Um, go ahead and you do the defensive buff. I think we'll focus on fighting this right side. So I'm going to build a defensive arc here. Some of these guys still have movement in them. We may as well move them to up to their speed. Give me that fat plague, baby. Skadoosh. Oh, diseased, plagued, damaged, hurt. Uh, go tackle that shaman so that they have to deal with that. So a whole bunch of them just got plagued. Um, you go there. You go there. Let's distract him. You throw the immobilize at the front line. They completely resisted. You're dead. I'm sorry, spider. You're on your own. We're abandoning you. <laughs> it's not that funny. It's really quite tragic, actually. Alright, piglet. Little piglet. Buff this doggo. Wish me luck on a business exam. Good luck, buddy. Hope you get to be a business guy one day. Person? Business person?
One, two, oh. One, two. Doggo, make it happen. Spider leap, make it happen. <gasps> we got a kill. Turn one kill. Easy. Now, their counterattack is going to be devastating. But we're in a position to counter counterattack. Is the game better than Planetfall? Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, oh! Uh, I'm not going to answer that because I really like the game Planetfall and I might be biased. That Berserker just crit me and killed my Archer in one hit. Okay, um, the Berserker needs to die 100%. How much damage was that? Can you see? There is a log. There's a damage log here. Uh, ba -ba 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 Necromancer. See, that was a shield bash. Where was it? Yeah. Uh, Berserker used heavy charge strike. 18 base damage. 20% for every tile traveled. He crit him for 83 damage. He has Fortune 5, Strengthened 2. Eighty... Three... Damage. Dude. Okay. So he has Steadfast, he can't die this turn. Which is fine. This guy does not have Steadfast, he can die this turn. I'm gonna shoot a Fat Web. Skadoosh. Immobilized, easy. Um, any more fat webs in the tank? Oh yeah, we do. Shoot a fat web, boom. Um, you're in like the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. Gortusk pig, tackle this guy. So that this archer can move up to here safely. <gasps> Undo. Move up to here safely. No, because if he crits you, you die. You need to move to here. Uh-huh. Kill the dog. Every kill is a kill. Up to here, shoot him once. Boom. Alright. We gotta deal with this left side now. Um, I think we can get up and hurt this guy. Need to get rid of this warrior. He's clowning on my dude. Which I'm not happy about. You step back a tile. Hero, get up here. Slap him. And Sunder his defense You get the flank You're magically charged Blast oh, Come on You gotta kill him There Oh you shot my own dude 90% chance to kill Do it Do it, do it, do it. Perfect uh, Kill him You said fire at will, frog and Listen, guys. <laughs> don't call me out like that. Oh, don't crit me. Oh, he didn't need to. It's okay. Those are tier one archers. They're really cheap. They're like 48 gold each. Okay, we're alive. Listen. <laughs> we're fine, okay? Remember the auto-resolve? We lost this battle, okay? Does this look like we're losing the battle? Please kill him. You didn't kill him. Shit. Uh...
All right. Uh, looks like it's close. It's not even close, baby. Bannerman, step up. Boom. Look at that heel. Run here, leap to the front line, stand together, Giga slap this dude for major damage. Nice. You also slap him for major damage. You step here, slap him. You go here. Big heal and morale buff. We need to shoot the Berserker to bring his health down. I regret that I didn't actually mark him as prey first. There's the kind of damage. Oh, he even missed and hit the right unit. Okay, there's the steadfast proc. Um, you go ahead and health restore yourself. I just, I can't do anything about that. That's, uh... Okay, spider finish this guy. Wolf. Get over here. I'd bite him. There we go. That's what we like to see. Hero. Um, I'd like to poison staff. It's only a 30% chance to hit. These guys do damage is the problem. Come on, hit him. Dach. Right, what do we got left? That's it. Oh, he hit me. Oh, so much damage. Oh, my spiders. Oh, my spiders. Oh, my spiders. Oh, my hero. No, not my leader. Oh, he crit my pig. He pig crit me. You can't pig crit. Uh, I need you to get this kill. One, two, perfect. Morale is high. Um, let's go ahead and mark this guy as prey. Get up there and smash his face. Finish him. Mortal Kombat. Boop, 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 boop. Oh man, you got a bad shot. You got to hit him. Hit him once. Yeah, hit him twice. Nice. Kill him. Perfect. Uh, honestly, more scared about the fury. Sunder his defense. Sunder him. Boom. All right, we got a we got a major problem. Ground control. If you go here, you will get two flank attacks, which is uh, probably oh the power of being on a unicorn. I can phase away like a hero. Um, melee strike, ranger to here. Shoot him. Kill. Kill. Oh yes. Okay. Phase teleport. Teleport away. Boo. Shoot him. Uh, we did it. We won the battle, I think, at this point. Enemy is routing, except for the berserkers who can't route. Uh, right. You go ahead and jump over his head. Get in front of him so that you can have a chance to immobilize him. He resists the immobilize. You chase. Blast him in the butt. Nice. You chase, blast him in the butt. Boom, easy kill. Okay, kill secured. Enemy will not be allowed to flee. All enemies must be moided. Sunder his defense. 
Spend 5 mana to make him pray. Blast him. 65% chance. Oh. Alright, Berserkers. Kill this guy. Melee strike two. One, two. And one, two, three. And a one, two, three. Just auto fight and auto resolve. That should be fine. You shot my own guys. Nice nibble. Good nibble. Right, so from a total stack wipe on my end to a single stack wipe. That I think is a major victory turnaround. Um, but we do have another battle we need to fight. I think we retreat. Let's cast Summon Irregulars to try to refill our frontline battalions. Recruitment needs to be continuous. Go job on the shrine. Um, go ahead and get me a... Morale is neutral. We need the tavern. Get me the tithe shrine. Need the mana and the gold. Ruler leveled up. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, one support skill, three warfare. Honestly, I think restore is a really good spell. This hero here leveled up. What did you get? Restoration. This allows you to resurrect a unit. You can resurrect units. Yeah, Restore, restore in my opinion, is really, really good. Um, because it heals 10 health. It grants one stack of regeneration, um, which lasts for three turns, which is another 18 health over three turns. But more importantly, it removes their negative status effects and it gives you something to do with your heroes on turn one. That actually helps you. Uh, now, Dark Ritual... Oh, shit, I can summon zombies. Being able to, like, turn the tide with a zombie summon here seems really good. Um, restoration could be good. Virulent Outbreak, we already kind of saw that in effect. It's not a great... It's probably... It was the best of what we had. Frostfire Detonation is pretty good. If you can get him into position on turn one for a Frostfire, it's really good. Where's your mount? Get your unicorn there, bro. Blink seems bad. Dark Ritual, man. Being able to summon zombies at a key moment. Zombies are like a worse resurrect. You gotta remember, all corpses in a one hex radius turn into zombie units. Cool down too. As long as I keep this guy alive, he can just turn a battlefield of bodies into a continuous fight. And this actually has major synergy with the um with the hound master how do i show the hound master because the hound master um he summons a war hound that leaves a corpse so if i spec into hound masters there'll be a ton of corpses enemy corpses as well as your own yes um I really am feeling the corpse summon here. But it's only a one hex radius around themselves. No, 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 no. Range of six. So this could hit up to seven corpses. 
and deal 12 damage to people. It's a castable spell with a range of 6. So it has really, really long range. But then again, Restoration is a super good. Being able to revive a unit. Um, reviving units means that they're alive um, when the stack is over, I'm pretty sure. I think I go, I think Dark Ritual is just like to be able to fill a battlefield with zombies, it's just so good. If you can get that off on like turn two or three with two to three zombies, it's super, super, super good. Um, I'm going to take. Not stand together. 10% damage for all units in his stack is pretty good. So I'm going to take strength training. All non-hero units gain 10% damage. That's a pretty good ability, I think. It just gives me a little bit more damage. All right, so where do we stand? So they attacked us. I'm pretty sure I should win this auto-resolve. No, okay, right. All right. Zombies in a Dune themed campaign? Listen, dude. Stop pointing things out. You? to this tile. Shit, no, I messed up. You to this tile. You to this tile. You to here. I need to get as many of my units that need healing around this guy this turn. You to here. I could leap you to the heal. All right, drop your fat restore. Boom. Now you, um, restore the archer, restore yourself, conjure a free animal, remember this guy leaves a corpse that can be turned into zombies too, come forward, wolf here, uh, Archer to here. You're not going to drop a heal. You're going to drop a defensive flag. Okay, so we got a decent amount of health back this turn. And we're going to get another chance to do some of that before the enemy arrives. A little bit of regeneration ticking off there. They're going to be super buffed up here. <laughs> I love the fact that I can overrule the auto-resolve. It's one of my favorite features of these games. Um, let's move you to here, move you to here. We're going to cast a defensive spell. What's the range on this? Six? All right, you should, you should stay somewhere safe. Um, you don't need healing. So let's move you out in front. You don't need healing, so let's move you to here. You're going to unleash the beast on this guy. You could do with some healing. So I'll keep you here. You could do with some healing. You could do with some healing. You could do with some healing. You could do with some healing, and you could do with some healing. And then we'll drop a fat heal. Now, a lot of these guys are going to have high morale now, too. So we have 20% extra crit on most of these units that got double healed. So this is the power of Bannerman, right? Right, we got most of our health back. I could do one call to glory here. That would get me 10% more damage and 5 more morale on a bunch of units. Let's do it. And then I'll save the rest for marking with prey. Um, yeah, let's get our units into more tenable fighting positions. So, 
Uh, does anyone doubt me on bringing Bannermen when I'm able to take a completely damaged stack of units and bring them up to a way more manageable amount of health? All right, let's dress off from the left of this rock. Drop your virulent outbreak on the entire enemy stack. There we go. Throw your web. Just get a couple of mobilizers. Two immobilizers. That's amazing. Um, you drop a restore. Get that heal going. Archer Bacatile, Bannerman here. Where's my other Bannerman? Oh. I did it wrong. That's all right. All right. That's about as good as we're going to get. Let's fight. Oh, I wasn't expecting the flank on my hero. Okay. They're getting the opening salvo. Nice stun on me. Come on, hero just needs to live. Perfect. Alright. So, what is the scariest unit in the enemy army? We have... Probably their ruler. Um, but we're not even really able to do anything about that. I'm going to get you to run to the back of the army. You're going to unleash the beast on this guy. You're just going to... Res oh, you could restore the wolf. You need to restore yourself. You're a little bit hurt. Um, you got stunned. You So you're stunned, so I can't use web. That's okay. Um, let's see. I could probably kill this guy if I... Marcus Prey. I think it's good for us to get a tackle on you. This would have a two turn cooldown. I could do AoE, but I don't want to. I want to save it for the corpses. Mm. This is a tier two support unit here on the left. Let's make sure we just get him. With as few resources as possible. We need to kill this shield guy too. I was hoping for more hits. Um, let's sunder his defense if we can. Very nice. 50% chance of hitting. A little bit of missing. That's okay. Get the kill. Bow, bow, bow. <clears throat> so
So, we could summon one zombie right now. I think we're going to wait on that. I'm going to get you to phase to here. Get that kill. <sighs> that didn't quite work out as I planned. This guy has resurgence, so I can just run in and take him. Huge. Get those kills. So my enemy already has low morale. That gives them a 20% chance to fumble and do half damage. That's a huge advantage to have on the first real turn of battle. And my heals will be coming off cooldown soon. Oh, big lightning bolt. Spider stunned. That's okay. Ow. Looks like he's standing on the corpses to prevent me raising them from the dead. Um, here's a question. Can you raise dead on corpses people are standing on? The answer is no. I only got one zombie there. All right. Oh, Wolf had Deadly Momentum last turn? Uh, right. Whoops. I'm going to mark he, their queen, their ruler, as prey. I'm going to sunder their defense. And one, two, three. That's what we like to see. Perfect. Um, okay. You can step forward. You can step forward. You can drop a heal. And up morale on anyone who needs that morale upped. See if we can kill this shield guy. I think that would be good. There's a chance. Oh, come on. Not the grazes. Not the grazes. Please kill him. Okay, okay, okay. Now we can summon zombies. We'll get two zombies, I think. Two zombies is enough, I think, to get another kill, and that should rout his army. Boom. Basically routing. Throw the web. Skadoosh. Oh, and he crit with the web attack! You know what, just let him flee. The web crit, guys! I crit with the web! The web crit! Dude. All right. Let's take stock. She's currently seventh in military ranking. I'm sixth. <laughs> we did it. I can't afford that, dude. But I can't afford not to do it. Go away, Sierra Court. Okay. We need to siege Hornward. We need to heal a turn. My armies are just... Devastated. Go stand on this. All right. I can't afford to siege solo stacks because uh, she still has enough army to threaten me. So I need to win the war through attri attrition. Dude, he's already built the seat of order. Oh, God. That's a win condition. 
That's like built. That's like putting down your spaceport, dude. <laughs> Okay, now I think we're healthy enough to go. I definitely want the Houndmaster. Because of the abundance of corpses he creates. Wizard Bond? It's a deal. Uh, okay. I didn't hear no bell. It'd be nice to get another wild speaker. These hunter spiders are just so good, dude. Toddingham has seen some shit in 36 days. You are correct. That city has been under siege since the moment it was founded. I guarantee you there's a full stack in a city. Oh, there's not. Three turn siege. <gasps> Harass defenders. I can't meaningfully speed this up unless I head long assault and I don't want to take that damage. Toad man. Ah. Fighter of the orc kin. Ah. Champion of the sun. I have zero research buildings, by the way. Just pointing that out. Maybe it's time to get one. <laughs> Every time I build something, they just burn it down. So I'm not building anything anymore. <laughs> they just... What the... A mimic... A blessed soul, a flow serpent, and then a light bringer. Oh, these are just like same basic model, but different. Who, who designed Pope Fish? I swear to God. Whoever designed the Pope Fish um, is a terrible human being. This city needs, like, siege defenses. I'm going to summon a wild animal. Let's do it. Um, I need to save... Oh, I need this. Completing a province annex annexation summons an animal unit under your control depending on the province. So this is just going to be a way for me to get army. That's why I'm going to get... I'm going to take this because I need army. Uh, two minutes. Okay, I'm back. Um, what are we doing? We're ending our turn. Did you not capture their ruler? I did not capture. I think she might have escaped or something. But we got the city under siege. There's no way she's going to rebuild an army in three turns. Right, guys? Huh? No way. It's not happening. It's not possible. I should really build a road... Let me, let me build a road. Can I do that? No, I can't build roads in enemy territory. Okay. All right. Um, God. Ugh. All right. So how's the city looking? We got really good cash in here. Why do we have so much cash? All right. Hell yeah. Throne. 
Multipliers, Ascended Champion. I have no idea what Ascended Champion is. Does anyone know what that is? It would be good to build a levee camp. That's a lot of food. If I put it on this mine... Oh, Ascended Champion is my ruler type. That's right. Um, if I put my levy camp on this mine, that means a theoretical one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five farms around it eventually. So I think this is a good le this is a good spot for a levy camp. Uh, summon a wild animal. I'll summon a wild animal into this stack. We got ourselves a level two carrion bird, which costs ten mana per turn to upkeep. It can eat corpses to heal itself for twenty health, and has a melee strike. It's also a flying unit, which allows it to move over obstacles. So this is going to be quite a good flanking unit. Um, it's a magic origin too, and uh, it has low maintenance, so it's quite cheap to maintain. A tier two, pretty good tier two actually. Honestly, at this point, I just need units, so I'm going to keep summoning some wild animals. My war machine is petering out. Carry on, my wayward son. Very good. Very, very good. They want me to build three conduits. Um, I will not be able to build three conduits by the time they want me to. I'll hurt the relationship, but I'll gain food. I'm going to take the food. All right. The seed of materium has been built. Again, that's like building... Like That's like placing... Dude, please. What is this? It's a gold infestation spawner on my border. Ugh. Okay, I guess we're just going to accept that our economy is getting shredded. Um, like paper mache, paper, like paper mache, like paper. Build a road. Around this little chunk of mountain, please. Oh, no. Nice, we got the Houndmaster. I'll probably want to build a couple of those. Okay, time for our tier 2 tome. What do we want to go for? Tome of Glades would give me access to the Glade Runner, which is a tier 3 ranged unit with Shoot Bow and Tracker's Mark. Tracker's Mark is a free action that they can use every two turns. Well, it has a two-turn cooldown um, that lowers the enemy's defense against magic and physical damage and applies two mark to making them easier to hit. So Glade Runner's really damn good. Um, would really suit my build, I think, the Glade Runner. Plus, it would also allow me to create forests, which is part of our win condition. Um, and I probably might, I could also theoretically go for Tome of Fertility. Um, which would also scale off farms in a really nice way. What do you got here? The Sacred Meadow. Stability from Conduits. Now, the Tome of Fertility would give me access to Summon Nymph, which is a Tier 3 support unit with Poison Blast. Seduce. 60% chance of mind controlling an enemy for three turns. Potentially distracting them. It also has a revitalized spell, which is a pretty good AoE heal and removing negative status effects. I think I could make use of the Glade Runner here. This seems like a really damn good unit. It fits really well into my build. And also a tier three shield unit to hold the front line that uses mana could also be super useful with the entwined protector. Leaf skin as well would give my people forest walk and forest camouflage. An aspect of the root would make my shield units like able to giga tank the front line. So I think basically all of these things are great. The forest warden ability would give all non-hero units... Uh, one defense, one resistance, and 10% damage if we're in a forest, which, you know, could trigger pretty often. Yeah. we're At the very least, we're taking Toma Glades. I might skip the Toma Fertility.
Oh, Onspot, thank you for the raid. I did not see your raid. Thank you so much, Onspot. Appreciate you, dude. Uh, sorry, I didn't see your raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Onspot. Uh, let's take the Toma Glades. We want that Glade Runner. Seven turns to research. I need create forest. I also need leaf skin. Well, I don't need leaf skin. I'm going to lock create forest and unlock the Glade Runner. It's a tier three archer. You can annex another province. Um, let's grab that pasture. Alright, we got a free pig for annexing that sector. Hey, I'll take it. I never look a free pig in the mouth. And we summoned a regular Grimbeak crow. Four defense is a 40% reduction to... It's a 40% reduction in effective HP. Where did you get this f army from, dude? I, I surely I win this auto resolve, right? C yeah, so I, I think I can win this easily if I fight this manually. So what's the counter to the defense? Is there like an armor piercing stat? There are things that pierce armor. There are things that reduce armor. And there are things that just do lots of damage, uh, particularly magic damage, because armor does not matter. Uh, you need resistance for magic damage, armor for physical damage. Jesus. Potato, do you have any takes on the 4x hex grid? Ah, uh, hex grid. Hex grid game. Hex grid game? 4x. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know that game. All right, what do we got here? War shamans, berserkers. It's scary out there, dude. Um. All right, so we're going to reposition forward slightly, get a defense buff. Boom. Um, then we would like a heal. Wild speed. No, you're a bannerman. I've got three bannermen now. Oh, shit, that's huge. Boom, big heal. Go ahead and restore him to get rid of that effect. Restore yourself. Go to here. Conjure an animal. Go to here. Go to here. Bannerman to here. Drop a fat AoE. Boom. We're loving it. Don't step in the brambles. All right. 
Is he fighting orcs or elves? I think they're orcs. But they look like elves. They're ashen fey. So I think they're elves. But I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm treating them like orcs. They're barbarian elves. All right. Oh, uh, left side is weak. I think I should initiate combat with the right side. The right side is very low on uh, ranged attacks, and there's a very good choke point here that I can get my tier twos into. Get my hero up here. Get my bannerman to here. You to there. You to there. You to there. Drop the morale boost. Um, Alrighty. You to there. Defensive back line. Bannerman. Hold this line. Retreat. Retreat. Yeah, you gotta walk through that, I'm afraid. You gotta buff that doggo. Run. Um, let's go ahead and mark someone as prey just to sunder their defense and make them an easier target next turn. So we're packing in over here on the right side. No game sound? Uh, turn up your volume. I can hear the game just fine. Here, let me, uh... I guess I do have way more sensitive ears and sound settings than most other people. There you go. Got to turn down my local volume. When will the PC punish you with AoE? Stacking defense gets you in scale, insane scaling damage reduction. No, no, no. Every one point of defense means you can take 10% more damage than you could currently take. So if you have 100 health, okay, uh, or gets you 10% more effective health. Um, so it works like this. Um, let's... Uh, w Guys. Anyone want to do some math right now? Let's... Do some math. Math time. Please no. And I will teach you how the armor and resistance works in this game. Let me open up a Google Sheet while I get started in case you guys vote yes. I can teach you how the armor works in the game. No, not math, anything. Okay, it's math time. Welcome to Google Sheets. So, uh, let's do armor. Let's just call it, yeah, armor slash resistance. Then we have health. Uh, EHP. Okay, let's say a unit that has, um, sorry, armor slash resistance, insert one row to, how do I insert a row? Am I forgetting how to do this? I don't want to do left, I want to do right. No, I want to do the other side. God damn it. You mother. All right, guys. Uh, this is percent reduction equals this. Um, so how does the formula work? It's a diminishing return formula. I can just do it. 
a simple way. One, two, three. Ah, we should do it parametrically. Everything should scale off each other. Just because it's more fun. Uh, equals this plus uno. Why are you being like this? Why is it not doing it the way it normally does it? Okay, whatever. Um... Sorry. So, health is just always going to be 100. So the percentage reduction we have here is 10, then it goes to 19, and then... Ah. So the way this is calculated is this number... Sorry. 1 minus the number above. Okay. Multiplied by 0.9. Sorry, number. Sorry, I messed it up. It should be minus one, and then like this. Yeah, does that get me a cleaner result? How much replayability do you think this game has? Plus one that I need. Mom says hi, BTW. Something I'm doing wrong here. Oh! It's not percent reduction. Sorry. What we care about... Sorry, I messed up. Uh, this is... Damage. It's much easier if you do it this way. Percentage of damage taken is... Uh, well, here it's 100%, right? So at zero armor, you take 100% damage. Uh, and then you multiply the one above by 0.9. For every point of armor, you go up. So at 10 armor, let me... Uh, let me make this a little bit simpler. Um... Bu -bu 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 what if I change this to 1? 100. There we go. And then we just take this. Minus 100. Um, this should also be a percentage, but I messed this up. Equal this. Minus 100. Minus 100. Okay, why is it doing that? Should it be minus 1? Ah, there we go. Minus 1. Uh, multiplied by minus one. All right, we got it. Wait, why aren't you a percentage anymore? Whatever. So at one armor, and this should now continue on forever. Why did you do that? Why are you li why are why is Google why is sheets like this? There we go. So, at 10 armor, let me clean this up a little bit. Make it a little bit more readable. Hold on. Format center. Uh give me some boxes, not like that. Box and then boxes. And then. Like this. Okay. So at one point of armor, you take 90% of the damage you are supposed to take, or you have a 10% reduction in the damage. Now, what that means is, I believe, you divide your health by this to get your effective HP. So, a unit 
Um, and then we want the... <clears throat> Can we zoom on blind? Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, how do we... How do we embiggen this? There we go. Alright, boys. It's math time. I want to go up one... So, if you have no armor, you take 100% of damage, you have zero reduction. That means you have 100 health and your effective HP is 100 health. That means one damage equals one, um, equals one damage. If you have one armor, you take 90% of the damage you're supposed to take, which is a 10% reduction, which means your effective HP is 11 point... Bu -bu 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 -bu. Let's fix this so that it rounds to a nicer number. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say custom number format just no decimals right so that we have a nice clean thing here so if you go um actually this should be ehp inc will be the ehp increase which will be equal to this say this minus this why don't you work ah there we go so, is this correct? People are right. I'm right about this. This is correct, roughly speaking. It's been a long time since I've done this kind of math. This is sponsored stream. This is important. By the way, uh, go ahead and get the game. Check out the link <laughs> that I'm posting in chat right now if you want to buy the game that I'm currently sitting here doing math about. Um... So if you have 10 armor, you take 34% less damage. Sorry, you take 35% of the damage you're supposed to take, which means you should have roughly three times the amount of health that you actually have on paper, which should be about 287, which is about three times as much health, right? You get me? So every point of armor you get roughly increases your survivability from your current effective HP by 10%. So you, and here's the perfect example. At 17 armor, you have 600 effective HP. If you go to 80 armor, you end up with 666 armor, which is roughly 10 to 11%. So, basically, every point of armor increases your current effective hit points by 10%. So going from zero armor to three armor roughly increases your survivability by 40%. Roughly just about 666, yeah. Anyway, hopefully, hopefully that helps you understand the armor mechanics. Oh yeah, I was in a battle, right. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, now, we do have a corpse that we can play with. Um, no, I misclicked. Listen, guys, let, you know, let's, just, let's just do a do-over. Let's do a do-over on that battle right there. <clears throat> a little do-over. Never hurt nobody. When it, when it comes to doing do-overs... This is part it's part of the process. I can do this pretty quick. Alright. We did a little we do a little do over in. What you have never seen a do over before? Give me a break. Alright. Alright, drop the fat AoE heal. Boom. Uh, you do a little restore on him. And you do a little restore on him. All right, now you're a wild speaker. So I want you to get over here. I want you to conjure an animal. I want you to go to here. I want you to go to here. And I'm just going to get you to do a bannerman thing. Can you show us the Chaos T5 book? Nah. 
I want you I don't want I want you guys to have some things not be spoiled, okay? There will be guide videos where people go over that stuff, but right now I just want to focus on our gameplay. He says immediately after spending about 15 minutes uh, creating a spreadsheet to calculate the armor values in this game. <clears throat> Do not point out how I am inconsistent, please. Okay, we're in position. We're coming back to where we were. All right, drop this fat morale boof. Boom. Uh, I guess we can give everyone morale. Let's do it. Drop the AoE defense buff. Keep moving up here. Make this guy stronger. All right. So we're back to roughly where we were. Slightly different. Can you imagine saves coming with 1% crit chance? See you in 10 hours. Base. That sounds like the kind of thing that someone else can do. I don't got time for that. I like to actually do things with my life. He said after he just spent six hours sitting in front of his computer playing video games. Oh, you got to compare to base. All right. Um, you're a little hurt. No, I need to get rid of this barb unit. That's got to happen. I'm going to sunder his defense. Perfect. Shiver my defenses. All right, come on, give him the big hit. I graze you joking. Um, okay. Where are my web boys at? Sling that web. Uh, the wolf can just be sent in. That's what I love about the wolf. And so can this thing. Just go tank that for me. Um, what do we got? We got a fat, virulent outbreak somewhere. Oh, can we hit a good number of units? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This has got potential. They are diseased. Um. I don't want to use that. He'll one-shot me. Get that kill. Yes, queen. Slay! <gasps> Slay! Alright, I want to make the zombies. Make of the zombies. Kaboom. These zombies will eat damage for me. Great. They're 62 health. Um, why ain't they appearing properly? Come on, zombies. You can do it. There they are. These are Ashed Fae. Spawnkin. Signet Nighthood. Melee Strike. Huh? They start off with an attack. Uwu. Why wouldn't I say... Why would I say uwu unironically? What's wrong with you, dude? Of course, I've already said uwu unironically. 
Why are you expecting me to... Why are you only expecting me to say it now? Like, I feel like you're way behind. Um, let's try and magic blast. That's really not a lot of damage. Nobody says it unironically? Uh... I do. Me says it unironically. I want every everyone who doesn't post an uwu in chat right now getting banned. I need like 400 uwus in chat. Oh shit, this hero's dying again. <laughs> I have a bot that will scrape chat. Everyone who did not type uwu is banned. Oh my god, I got so much, f so many first time. I would rather get banned than say uwu. Okay, Denise. All right, Denise. You chose your cross. That's your cross to bear, okay? You made your cross. Now get, n well, that's probably a bit grim, actually, if I say that. Um, I can't help but feel like I had a bigger army last turn. Alright, let's get rid of these barbs. Um, Alright, that's one down. Zombie, strike. Tackle here. Good, 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 good. It would be good. Could this guy catch you? You couldn't. Let's go in there and get this guy. This chaplain. This chappy. Need to get my damage out. Need to get my spiders into the fight, really. Okay, sunder his defense. I need to bring this guy down. Get up here. Sunder his defense. 90% chance. 16 damage. Boom. Boom. Give me those hits. No, you grazed! You fucker! How can you graze? Nice, we got a kill. Morale is high. Enemy morale is mediocre. Stand together. Hurt him. Spear him. Very nice. Um, let's have a look there. If he crits you, you're dead. Let's go ahead and... Uh, All right, so they're, they're chaplains buffing each other. That's honestly good stuff. <clears throat> Those chaplains are going to be... Ah. Oh. Jesus. Okay, I'm losing way more units than I usually do. I feel like I'm fighting this poorly or something. Something has changed in her build.
I feel like I'm getting way less efficient trades. This barb needs to be, this uh, berserker needs to be brought down. Get that kill. One, two, three. Zombies up. Melee strike. They have like three times as much range stuff. Yeah, they did have a lot more this time. Heal. Retreat. Ugh. Christ. Ninety percent chance of a good magic blast. I need this kill. Come on, give me this kill. I need it, dude. You're joking me. Come on. Get a counter attack. Put two big hits on. Bite him, one, two, three, very nice. I think we could still win this, it's just gonna be a little bit harder than it usually is. Big AoE defense. The amount of healing they have with those chaplains is scary. God! So much healing. I'm just not getting the kills like I used to. Holy shit, that chaplain actually just crit me. For so much. Alright, we got a good heal coming. You get that kill. Come up to here. Drop the heal. What do we need to kill? Good kill, good kill, good kill. That's a flank, you can kill him easily. Nice one. Um, let's f put a flank on him. One, two, three, very easy. Finish him off, please. One, two. Wow. Okay. Step forward twice. You gotta, you gotta finish him, dude. Thank you. Um. Let's get defenses going. Sunder their defense to bring their health down a little. You should leap here so you can throw your web next turn. You keep chasing this bad boy, even though he keeps healing, that's okay. Yeah, my wolf didn't tank quite as much, that's another thing. God, that dude is super buffed. You're gonna crit me. Zombies! The hero that can raise zombies died, unfortunately. They killed him real early into the battle. Alright, you can drop a heal. Boom. Um, you're already flanking him. Finish him. Excellent. Let's make him weak. Sixty-nine damage. Woo yeah. Throw the web. Give me a crit on that web. Um. Come up. There we go. One and two. 
Now, now we're talking. Okay, so we broke them. It's just a matter of getting through all their bullshit. He's flanked. He's going to take big damage. Blast him. Show him your hatred. Very nice. Good job. Really show them your hatred now. Kill that man. Mark him as prey. Show him the error of his ways. One and two. No, no, no. You don't get to flee, okay? You don't get to take the satisfaction of killing you away from me. One, two, three. Kill him. Lovely. Good job. Step up. It's under him. Give me the damage. Come on. Two hits is all I want. I just want two hits. It's an average number. Boom. We're done. What hero died? My hero. <clears throat> Alright, that was a much better outcome, I feel. Was that actually worse? Outcome-wise? Than the auto-resolve? I don't think so. I think I lost more on the auto-resolve. Could be wrong. I think this was worse. Don't say that to me, dude. My heart can't take it. Is that hero permadead? No, he's just in my crypt. Um, replaceable side character. This guy. We can resurrect him for 350 mana. We need to kill this if we can. No, no, no deaths. Really? You gonna make me fight this so I don't have any losses? Imagine a world where auto resolve would actually do the thing that would happen if you entered the battle and clicked auto just without the UI. That's exactly what they do in this game. Uh, is it not? Literally, that is literally the game mechanic. Okay, I didn't think they would just come, because usually the AI kind of chills and lets you, like, set up. I didn't realize they would come straight for me. better. Um, okay. Red shirt having zombies makes him not a red shirt? Listen, dude. I don't question your methods. Why are you questioning mine? Let's kill the ruler. Um, 
Okay. Okay. Let's get our damage first. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Their ruler is dead. They no longer have magic. Fuck your magic. He's surrounded. Um, go ahead and unleash the beast in this guy. You go here. Jump to the side so he's flanked. Immobilize him. Okay. Low chance. Unlikely to happen. Go here, do a little heal. You're thinking. This is like one of the worst terrain types to fight in, dude. Yeah, cavalry units used to love to just run in, from what I remember, and get themselves killed. Alright, perfect. We have conquered the city. I'm going to migrate it to my faction. Yes, that is an act of evil. I understand. Uh, something I fully understand and accept. Good job building the archer battlements. Continue to de develop your economy. God, this city is just getting burnt to thunder. My ruler has leveled up, and so we can take... Ooh, Forest Warden is quite interesting, inspiring leader, strength training. I feel like strength training is basic. I really want to get endurance training, um, but I'll take defensive training first. Plus one defense to my entire stack. Remember, that's actually a really effective way to increase your health. We captured Elwyn the Philosopher. Uh, we will not be releasing her. She will be kept under lock and key for basically forever. Remains of Greyblood. Replaceable side character has been retrieved. Retrawn. My message received. Okay. We need the return of Cheek Clapper. <gasps> Wait. Did we free Cheek, Cheek Clapper? Where's Bloodguard? No, they moved his corpse. We met Necron the Risen. Good to meet you, Necron. I'm kind of scared of you. He was all lightning-y and glowy, and I don't want to look at him for too long because it's going to make me feel inadequate. He has built the Seed of Shadow. Great. Awesome. My favorite. Um, yep. 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 <clears throat> Piglet. Go, go, little piglet. Join the army, piglet. Uh, migrate to the Merry Toads. I could absorb the city, but I'm going to migrate it. Let me have a look. The Ashen Fae are barbarians. Do I really want to bring barbarians into my shit? I would have to transform another race. Nah, they're getting migrated. I'm sorry, they started this. For too long have the Toad people sat under the boot of the Ashen Fae. Rise, my fellow Toads. No longer um, shall we be... Uh, yeah, the warm blood must flow. The cold blood must remain quenched. How diverse can you make your realm look? You can have basically every uh, faction in the game. 
our ribbits will quake in their hearts. Ribbit. All right, we're migrating the city. I'm just going to chill out here for two turns because I want to make sure that that goes through because I don't want it to get cancelled. Because that would be really, really annoying if it got cancelled. Uh, sure, let's summon a wild animal. A hero offered to join. No, 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 I want to revive my dude. Um, I really need to build the monolith, which means I need a conduit. I need to deal with this forester. I'm building hound masters. I really need a blacksmith to be able to draft units faster, so I will do that. I am now evil. Um, I will do good things later. Listen, when you're making an omelette, what do you do? You crack some eggs, right? Eggs get cracked. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're making a world omelette right now. He ma Listen, <laughs> I understand that there's currently uh, a effectively magical ethnic cleanse. Listen, that is... He built an outpost near my empire, okay? What was I supposed to do? Okay, it's a, it's a fantasy game. Hey, we got a hellhound. That's pretty good. Inferno. Uh, uh, this this thing is just gonna run around and ruin my day forever. Look. It's not my fault that I don't understand how to make multiple different factions work together, okay? That's just a gameplay problem. Wait, I didn't mean to recruit Queek, but I'm happy to take him. So Queek Headtaker is a hero that I have designed and made in a different campaign that I won a game with, and now he's joined me. Channel power, defensive training. These are terrible skills, Queek. Why would you take these? Let me reset you. Uh, you should take, let's see, Queek, uh, for sure you should take Restore. Restore is a great ability. You should take Stand Together, Defensive Training, and Strength Training. Squeak for Queek, the Ratman rises. Okay, Hornward is now my city. And good God, is it terrible. What the fuck are those? What the fuck are those? It's an Earth Titan. The thing just has weapons in it. Games Workshop about the Sioux. I made that hero. This was I designed this hero. I made him. He's uh, just a dumb little. I was I was trying to see if I could make um like a Skaven themed faction. But I didn't make them live underground. So I had pr prolific swarmers and ritual cannibals. I probably would have like changed them a little bit. Uh, I see the marauders have outpaced potato. Yeah, they've got a stack of 1,300. I'm pretty sure all of my armies combined don't reach 1,300. They literally don't. A hundred. This is an elite mob with 186 health. Let's do the math on that. This thing has effectively 300 health. Jesus. All right. <laughs> Where to next? It looks like they've got a city down to the south. Do I go for the capital to take it out? Well, first things first, I think we park on this underground passage. 
to keep him from moving units up. They have to fight me if they want to come up now. Hornward. I could build the Lord's Manor. That's probably a late game building. Not really into it. Um, let's migrate this to a forester. This research post I will rebuild as a wildlife sanctuary, I think. No governor said for toting him. Queek headtaker. You may lead that city. Ooh, gain three gold per unit tier of units killed in battle. Could go for that. A defensive pact. He's gonna call me into so many wars! Why did I click yes? Fuck. Sorry, excuse my language. A levy camp? I built the levy camp in my capital. I caught an enemy army out in the open, alone. A glorious day. Come on, give me this with no losses. My firehound? Dude. Okay, we just need to get through this battle without losing a unit. That's How hard could that be? Come on, guys. Seriously. How hard could it really be? So the wolf can just be thrown into battle, as can this spider that I conjured. Um, as can this piglet I conjured. Let's drop a virulent outbreak to hurt our enemies. And we could web. I don't care about hurting my own units. Oh, that was a triple immobilize. Unleash the beast. That piglet I want to keep alive. That piglet can evolve. Are you immobilized? Well, we really do not want to do much damage there. Nice morale. Boom. He's dead. Oh. God. does it every single time. He just runs up and crits me. Alright, 
There goes his steadfast. Give him defense, so he's down to 24 damage. Now he's down to 22 damage. Blast that kiddo. Blast him. Blast him. All right. Feeling quite a bit better about my situation here. A single archer lost. What can I do against a crit? You know what I mean? Pours damage onto a steadfast unit. It was faster than clicking defense mode. You know what I mean? It was just faster to attack him. Alright, whatever. I think the Hound is worth more than an Archer. Should I just go full Chaos and start burning? No, we have to stay pure. When you don't have shield units? Yeah, that's true. I have zero melee, but that was kind of my goal. Ooh, Glade Runners. There's a unit. There's a unit, boys. 17 base damage. Attacks three times per turn with a tracker's mark. Five range. Sundering attack. Ooh. Damn. Do we just go high quality and start spamming out these guys? Like, here's the thing. For one Glade Runner, I could have three archers. Would I rather have the Glade Runner or the archers? Signet of Knighthood gives them a 20% damage bonus when they stand adjacent to another unit. I think I would rather, right now at this stage of the game, I just need units on the board. So things like archers and houndmasters just seem better. 60 times 3 does not equal 140. Um, maintenance cost is the more important thing. 20 gold per turn, 2 mana upkeep. These cost 6 gold per turn. And I could build roughly 2.5 of them in the time it takes me to build one Glade Runner. This thing, sure enough, they get crit once they die. But... I just need lots of chaff. I guess the Glade Runner does have more defense. Yeah, fuck it, we'll go for the high quality army, whatever. We spammed enough trash units. Um, aspect of the root. This is a really good ability for your sh for your front line. I do want to be able to create forests, so I'm going to take that one. But I want to lock aspect of the root. Blaze of the Horde is good. Glade runners mean we need to manually battle less. That is true. Call to war against Necron. Great, thanks, bro. I knew he would call me into wars, and I knew I would accept them because that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Why are you at war with me? How did you get control of my people's faction? Okay. Feudal is better off spamming pikemen, you think? Because they upgrade to shields? I mean, there's probably some truth to that. These die so easy to ranged attacks, though. Um, 
I could probably use some pikemen, actually. I do need a front line. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Also, I have, I have, I have Book of the Horde, so my archers are good. You know? March on the traitorous Toadkin. We will. We just, we got to deal with these guys first. Um... We can build knights here. Oh man, we got the unicorn knights! Knights have phase. Damn right they do. We can get into the enemy's backline so easily. Can you grow? You got tiles? No. Keep making those pikemen. I'm going to spam pikemen rather than archers. We'll see. We'll see if your suggestion works. I need some mana, honestly. Oh, another spirit wolf. This one doesn't have resurgence, which means I'm going to accidentally get it killed because I'll send it just straight into the enemy. I'm astonished how not dead he is. How could you doubt me, dude? Seriously. Fuck. <laughs> I just got those units. God, the comedic timing of this game is just so good. Why can't you move? Oh, you're pillaging. Harass defenders. Sabotage their support. Alright, what do we got here? We got a nice big old battle coming. Queek, we need you. I'm just going to spam pikemen at this stack and see what happens. Breastplate of the Champion. Mines gain 10 draft. That's pretty good. Uh, provinces with the Forest feature grant 2 city stability. That's quite good. So he called me to war. I'm just going to pretend that that didn't happen. God, this is so much. Frog and Hood will share lore with Syracorse. Hell yeah. Alright. Queek Head Taker has reached the front line. Do I even have equipment I can give him? No, I have found zero equipment this game. Nice. Based. Uh, Sherwood Grove. We could use some money. We could use a stonemason. We could use a sacred meadow. Uh, we could use a lot of this stuff. Really, we could use the Arcane Institute, because my research is bad right now. <sighs> Why are you making me go to war with Alfred, dude? Just stop! This dude's gonna pull me into war with half the world. I know I took a research penalty. Listen. Where do they get these units? 
heads. How are they producing so much army so fast, dude? If you sell the corpses, you get the equipment. I don't think I have very good equipment corpses to sell. No, not yet. Dude, I don't know why, but these little toad peasants, like, crack me up. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why they're so funny to me. I'm going to cancel this Glade Runner. Screw Glade Runners, dude. I'm getting the archers. Okay, here we Entwined Protector. I think it is the hat. You're right. Um, I definitely want this. Being able to summon a tier 3 shield unit with a heal. Super great stuff. I am also going to lock Aspect of the Root because that seems like a really good frontline spell for pole arms. You can annex another province. Of course, you're getting pillaged. So... <gasps> a ghost wolf. Another war... Just... Here we go, here we go, here we go. One, two... Three, four, five berserkers, one, two, three chaplains, an ogre, her leader. This is going to be a loss. The AI doesn't know how to handle berserkers. Yep. They don't know how to fight berserkers, so I will have to fight this manually. Just cut the defense pack. Listen, dude, I'm ride or die with Mr. Mole Man. I'm ride or die. <clears throat> it's a forest battle, which is a problem for me. Right. Tier 3 Berserkers, yeah, that's what we're up against. We're against Tier 3 Spam, and we're on T1 Spam right now. How does difficulty work in this game? The AI cheats, just, and they're smarter. It's all bad, basically. This is all real bad. Conjure an animal. Okay, um, drop a heal. Conjure an animal. All right, Queek. You're really not high enough level for you to have an impact on this battle, but you're here anyway. Great. So much barbarian, dude. They always manage to get a counter attack on the last turn of the siege. He could move a tile and get a f f huge 
virulent storm. So ton of poison, ton of decay. We don't want to send him in to just die. We want to get use out of him. <sighs> Give morale. Let's go ahead and do a call to glory in this sector. All right. If your city is being sieged, does it affect your resource generation? Yes. You can always recruit units for... Uh, you never get a penalty to unit recruitment, but you get a penalty to gold, food, and production. But your draft income stays the same, I believe. Pray there's no AoE nuke. We have, uh, we have the AoE heals, so we should be fine. And it's, it's not late enough into the game where they have the tier 4 units that have big AoE nukes. They're still on T3 units, but typically do a lot of damage in single target. Oh yeah, there goes the Firehounds. Alright. <clears throat> it's already not great. But that doesn't automatically mean that it's bad. What is the highest threat unit on the board right now? I think if I can kill something... I could kill a skirmisher right now. Fucking graze. Of course. Come on, hit this. Come on, hit this. Alright, skirmisher down. Piglet, catch this scout. Huntsman, finish him. Um... This Berserker right here is my number one enemy. Get him down to a low amount of health. Boom. Okay. Um, shoot your web. Big damage. Kind of blocked my own units in here. Oh man. Nice web. Good web. Good web. I really want to get that close with this guy. Let's heal this. Drop another AoE protection. See if you can't sunder him. Ah. 
All right, let's see how this goes. I think we're doing okay. A little bit of healing going out. The spiders have crazy AoE. All right, I'm scared about their berserker. Okay, I was expecting that death. <clears throat> I still have to deal with that goddamn ogre. I am an ogre. This bannerman is dead, but at least he can trade out for a barb. Kill him. You schmuck. Kill him, doggo. That's him dealt with. <laughs> All right, good damage. Come on, you need to just like two of these shots. Okay, we triggered his Berserk, which is the important thing. Alright, good shot. Come on, hit this, hit this, hit this. Oh, baby. That's a kill right there. Defense mode, defense mode. So I don't know where we stand currently. But as long as I don't lose too many units this turn... I think I'm okay. There's a lot of buffs going out, which I'm not a fan of. Ooh, leader. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Okay, we need to kill that bar before they can heal him. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. 90% chance of a kill. Perfect. Um, go ahead and sunder his defense and mark him. Get nice and close. Both you guys blast this guy. Come in here, drop your heal. Give these guys a chance. I 
Let's cast Hold the Line. Do we? Nah, I regret. Undo that. What can we kill? Can we kill this guy? At least get him to trigger his Berserk. Can we kill this guy? Come on. There we go. Okay, we gotta kill. We gotta kill. Drop your little heal. Keep our morale nice and high. Um. One, two, three. It's our best move. It's just to damage this guy. You're going to take a hit here, but that's okay. Bolstering us. Ugh. The healing. Ow. Ow. Dude, the berserkers are just on imaginably strong. Like, combined with healing, it's actually insane. The fact that they don't die. Makes them so... I never thought of that as a combo, but it's actually disgusting. Or at least we got these two guys pinned, so they'll have to get out of our zone of control. Can we get this kill? Can I kill a chaplain? We can. Big. One chaplain down. Keep that defense going. Come on, trigger it, please. Okay, we triggered him so we can kill him next turn. Right. It's looking a little grim. Right? We're fine. Oh God, the fortune blessing. The blessing. He's blessing. He's casting blast. No, live. No. Okay, we can get this kill. Perfect. Um. Why are they so hard to hit? Can someone explain this to me? God. Are they in obscured? Oh, they're in obscured terrain. Damn it.
think we just gotta take a gamble on killing a chaplain. And we lost. At this point, you killed half their army. Auto combat didn't kill a single unit. That is true. Jesus. God. Even just getting out, I, these berserkers are insane. What do you do in the face of this, dude? It's not that they're OP, I just, I don't have the counter to them, is the problem. I lack the counter unit, which is like good spearmen and good melee. And things that can remove buffs. Are you nibble on a little corpse, okay? Squeak, you're gonna eat your way through this goddamn battle, okay? You grazed him. 90% chance to hit, and you grazed him. This Houndmaster has done work. This whole game. He crit his way through my entire archer line. Oh, hey! Uh, raiders? From who? Who raided me? Why can't I see that? Oh, Riding Bull! Thank you so much! Thank you so much, Riding Bull. Uh, great to see you. And uh, thank you for rating my my uh, my stream. Uh, guten Tag. That is about all of the German that I know. Yawol. Yeah. Yawol. Jowl? Hold on, I gotta feed the rabbit. <sighs> yeah. Well, look. I didn't get wrecked, okay? Listen. It was a close battle. Look at this. Tier 3, tier 3, tier 2, tier 2. Tier 3, tier 3, tier 3, tier 2, tier 2, tier 2, tier 2, tier 2. Tier 1, tier 1, tier 1. Tier 2, tier 2, tier 2, tier 3, tier 2, tier 2, tier 2. I was just a little bit outmatched, okay? Go on, you could say Bratwist. Yeah. Call you on mine handy. Alright, at this point, I'm embracing the pikeman spam. I am the pike lord. God, I don't want. I want to talk about this. Frog the Impaler. <laughs> Damn right. Uh, I don't want to talk about it, lads. Was there ever? Can we? Can, can I, someone in chat tell me, was there ever a point in this game where it felt like we were on top of things? Seriously. I don't think there's ever been a moment in this entire game 
where I was like, do you know what, lads? It's actually going all right. Yeah, turn two. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I swear to God, I did another game and it went so well. It went so well. Um, I don't know what, what went wrong here. But it went wrong, man. Whatever it was, it went wrong. Many things were against you. <clears throat> Many whelps. Listen. The actual best games are the ones you don't stream or record. Source me. I actually recorded my game that went really well. It was a great game. I'm proud of it. Oh, we're in the T1 spam zone now, boys. Time to start summoning regulars. Ooh, Druidic Care is actually really good here. Really helps out my mana. That's like a 50% mana increase for me. Which means I can start spamming more units. Oh yeah, give me those ogres. I just need units, dude. That income based on dead units would have been real useful. Yeah, I'm actually going to unlock that next. Um, that'll give me some staying power. I'm also going to click the button that summons three T1 units in every city. I need money. Give me that money. Okay. Uh, so I want to do this. I can't summon the banners, but I will. Yet yeah, soon. I need to kill this weird stack of horrors. The T1 spam is just like not strong enough though. Let me just, how would this go for me? Really bad, okay. Let's just, just wait. What did we summon? Oh, we got a pikeman. That's cute. I will take I'm dude, I'm all in on the mole people. I I am the mole man communicator. Uh decline. Uh. You have fifty eight draft in that city and units cost sixty. I don't want to talk about it, dude, okay? Why did you have to point that out? Does the morale in the city work as morale does in other games? It kind of works similar-ish, I think. Um, the lower your morale, the, lo the bigger your penalty to income. Uh, really bad if it gets really low. The higher it is, the better your income. 5%, 10%, and 15%. It's not that amazing to have positive morale. You can boost it later. All right. I am going, going to click the right of the last stand to summon a whole bunch of bannermen. I've got a bunch of units here. I like how the knight portrait is kind of broken here. Summon the banners. I got three pigs in my capital? Dude. The game is laughing at me. 
It gave me three pigs. The three little pigs have come to save the day, for sure. This mirror mimic. I don't know how I feel about this. This battle's gonna go poorly if I auto resolve it. You can uh, over overflow exists. It 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 overflows. It it, it does. All right, boys, can. Three shit stacks of crap toad peasants wearing crap toad hats take on one brutal difficulty giga stack of marauding horrors. Let's find out. Actually, I'd call this a result. I'm accepting that. And I got 39 gold out of that. That almost pays for replacing one of the units I lost. All right. Now we can start paying money to repair. Our base. Ain't that nice. You better not make fun of their hats. Their hats are awesome, dude. Oh, well, make it fun. The city's under siege. We need to send the relief forces. Can't wait. The Riders of Rohirrim. Does research overflow? Uh, all resources uh, overflow, I believe. How are things going for the froggin? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. B by the way, we're in this situation because of this outpost right here. I declared a war for this outpost and I've had it this whole time. It's been giving me five mana and uh, one gold. Yeah, it certainly was worth it. It certainly was worth it. Absolutely. Oh, it was worth it. Let me tell you. Oh, Jesus. There's nothing really I can do with this city. Except just slowly and painfully maybe get a bit of research. This guy's a spell warden. Okay. All right. Here's the unstable guy that I don't want. Yeah, I'm not doing any of that. I could, I guess I could resurrect a hero. Huh? Who we got? Replaceable side character. Hey, he's back into the fold. 350 mana. Welcome back to the team. Replaceable side character. Oh, we have waited long for you. You should probably lead your own stack. We'll fix that later. I will not become a vassal, okay? I refuse. Yeah, those, those beacons are real lit, dude. <laughs> Listen, we're alive. All right. We're alive. All right, let's see. All right, instantly finish. Ooh, estate hall. Lose money, gain knowledge. I'm going to go for the estate hall. Um... Maybe, what if producing knights is my way out of this problem? I need another quarry. Oh, there's more! 
shit, they have stacks of knights! Sorry, right, we got this. We're fine. I said we're fine. Give me some of these. How much does this guy cost in maintenance? 20 mana per turn. But he do be strong, hacking strong. We gotta just spam out units. Do you know how much content the future DLCs will add? Absolutely zero idea. Uh, can you not make peace with anyone? This is more of a choice at this point. Yeah, exactly. That's correct. Just need a few more pikemen. Dude, we're doing it. All right. Walls breached. Oh, no. They breached our walls. Counterattack. Easily clapping. I can't lose my wolf and my knight, dude. What is this? They have one, two. Okay, so I lost three units in this iteration. Now, question? Heavy charge ignores charge resistance. Okay. Wolf comes back though, that's true. It's a great point that I'm going to ignore. I want you to stand behind the pikemen and provide them with the shield wall benefit. Knight, prepare to flank. Oh. What have I done? I broke the game. Oh, this isn't how it's meant to be at all. Oh. It's like a twisted pile of... Unicorps. That's awful. You, drink your beer. Alright, let's drop my latest hit track called uh, Bioterrorism. Boom, get poisoned. So they're looking for a pretty obvious flank attack. Oh god, wait, how are you flanking this unit?
Maybe the auto resolver did a better job than I can. Oh god, this unit is so scuffed. Alright, let's see how we do. Oh. Okay, I don't care if the wolf dies. Nice. Cavalry Slayer. Huge. Let's mark that knight. That's big. That's big damage. Holy shit, pikeman counter knights! Who knew? Who knew that? Don't say you knew that. You didn't. Give me some zombies. Oh, the fat knight charge. That... <laughs> so scuffed. <laughs> okay. Piglet. Piglet. Thank you, Piglet. Kill the knight. I am the knight. Oh, the flanking spearman. He's goaded. He's got the sauce. You're really gonna die to that counterattack? Come on, dude. All right, let's see what happens. All right, lost my zombies. Electrical bouncing. Lost an archer. Didn't lose the knight. Didn't lose the knight. Get up his butt. Ugh. You get distracted. Get killed, more like. Blast him. Lost the wolf? Who cares? The wolf comes back to life after the battle. Wait! No, it's not that kind of wolf anymore! Shit! It's okay. I'll, I'll accept the wolf loss. That's a better outcome, I think. Alright, we've protected the city of Hornward. Um <clears throat> I didn't hear no bell, okay? If people are typing in chat why I haven't surrendered. I didn't hear no bell. Ding ding. Someone typed that in chat. <laughs> Good meme.
Um, yeah, I want aspect to the root. Is Pedro trying to make a sports reference? It's a, I think it's a South Park thing, right? I didn't hear no bell, and the guy gets back. Uh, Randy keeps fighting people at like the kids' sports games or something. You're not getting let go, okay? You're in my crypt. Surely, my T1 spam should overcome this. It did not work. Should get Tome of Vigor and replace Spawn Commit Super... Listen, dude. Staying alive is an issue right now, okay? I don't know when you think I'm supposed to get time to do that. Should we just start a new game? It would be so much simpler. All right, we're forming the line, boys. We are the last line of defense between the toads and annihilation. Toadtopia cannot fall. Hold, brothers. I don't even know if I call the Toadtopia. It's something else. I'm having my heroes like ride out in front of my army. Do not fail me, brothers. May your hearts be strong. Squelch in the plains of our forefathers. Oh god, it's so much damage! Jesus! Fall back! <laughs> That's too many! Teleport the horse behind the lines and heal yourself. Perfect. All right, I think I reckon, I reckon this spell right here, Dark Ritual, when my fr when my front line of troops falls <laughs> and becomes corpses, <laughs> that's my moment. That's when I strike. <laughs> I make them zombies. <laughs> oh, look at that. Already winning. Oh, it's bad. Oh, first strike. Oh, he's alive. He's kind of alive. He's kind of almost alive. Alright. Knights of the table. Oh, God, they're coming. Oh, Jesus. <laughs>
Right. First things first. Get that kill. Now you, you need to freeze both these guys, okay? Perfect. Good job. Good God. Give him a little heal. Well, first face that way. Give him a little heal. Push this sector of the front line forward. And this sector. And this sector. Alright. I think we could take out this skirmisher. Who are we using? 27 damage. Reckon we mark this guy as prey. Big damage incoming. That's a nice graze. Great. Oh. Bring the spearman forward. Kill the dog. Get in his face so he can't charge. Perfect plan. Actually? What if that's the key? I need to get some kills. Are you having a good time? Yeah, I'm having a great time. It's really fun. How do you have Steadfast? Oh no. It's over, lads. It's over. They have Keeper Mark and I'm spamming T1. It's over for me. It's actually over. I'm sorry. Whatever. Go charge my unicorn cavalry. Oh, an excellent point of damage you've inflicted upon our enemies. The mark, the mark is a pretty late game enchantment. That means that your units can't be killed in a single turn. It's like the anti-focus fire. My entire build is focus fire units down one at a time. And he has the thing that counters me. Oh God. Ow. Ah. Kill him. He got keepers marked again.
There's not enough corpses to do the zombie bomb yet. <laughs> God. Kill him. Get in there, kill that chaplain. Get him. Nice. Come on. I need you to hit him just a couple times. Come on. Come on. Go on. He's got steadfast again. We need to damage this guy. We need, to, we need to take out some of the models of his unit. Protect with the spear. Piglet. He's steadfast. You can't do anything to him. You can make him bleed, though. Get up there. Make him bleed. Oh, please kill a chaplain. Come on. Come on, kill that chaplain. <gasps> Why is your accuracy so low? Oh, baby. Okay. Come on, kill one of the models. Nice. Kill another couple of models. Let's go. He's healing and doing things to me. Oh, he's just regenerating them. The toad people are crumbling. We cannot hold. All is lost. A morale breaks. Wow, and thunder. All right, hold on. We got to kill this chaplain. Hold on. Let him cook. A potential. Four zombie rays here. Can I... Come on, you gotta hit all these shots. You gotta hit them all. No grazes. Okay, you graze? You're the worst. You gotta hit them all. You gotta hit both these shots, buddy. Oh, and you crit. You made it possible. Actually dead. Now, this guy doesn't have Keeper's Mark, right? No. Let's go ahead and make him flanks no matter where he is. You're actually going to go tackle these guys to be annoying. Hopefully, I don't come back to regret that. Boom, boom, boom. I need, I need this guy to never grace or fumble. Okay. A four zombie raise. Oh, it's big. I don't know if it's enough, but it's big. Tackle the chaplains. Don't let them escape. God. These warriors do 13 damage. You got stunned or something. Man. If I keep you here, I think you get murdered. You gotta do damage to the berserker. What was that stop motion mo movement? One of the units is bugged. And it's just too funny to me. Oh, oh no! I 
All right. Let the zombie die. Take the hit. Make him decay. That's what I need. I need zombies to fight these guys. Because they cause decay, which prevents you from healing. Cannot regain hit points. Alright, kill this loser. Flank him. Okay, we got him pinned. He's got steadfast still. Tackle these guys. Seventy percent chance. Come on. I need you to knock raise. Give me this hit. Nice one. Um Let's take out units that we can actually probably kill. Big flank. Big damage. Triggered his thing. Keeper's mark. Oh my god, he crit me. I gotta bring him down to 1 HP so his keeper's mark triggers, right? God, they all have steadfast. What an annoying ability. Please hit. Come on. You're a hero. You saved Toadkind. Just, like, give him a little stab. Okay, his steadfast is triggered. Oh, he's killing my zombies! Oh, he does so much damage to zombies. Alright. We actually managed to win this battle. Believe it. He is steadfast again. God damn it. <laughs> Keeper's mark triggered. Bro. It's all to resolve it. <sighs> they have steadfast plus keepers mark. Yep. <laughs> I didn't even have a city under siege and he did this to me. I feel like I came out better on this exchange though because like I killed a whole bunch of high tier shit and uh, it only cost me like all my low tier stuff. You know? You'll have it all back by the next harvest. Do we go? No way we're taking the capital city. We could get peace. I don't want peace. My people have known nothing but war since we set foot on this world. Okay? We don't want to know what peace is. You need the capital or the war won't end? I don't think I can take their capital. The siege would take too long. I need to take away their unit recruitment. No! 
I, I think I'm dead here, lads. The early stack wipe death spiral. I think we're well and truly dead. Replaceable side character. Endurance training. 15 hit points for my units. In his stack. Uh huh. These are spearmen. They have plus 15 hit points. They got a little bit of status resistance. Alfred, how would you like peace? He wants me to become his vassal. Decline. Negotiate. Make peace. He wants a thousand gold. <laughs> Decline. Um. How is she making so many units? There's not even that many turns passing. Lads. Not even that many turns are passing. All right. Choose your destination. Let's try this again. Your journey starts here. I'm on normal difficulty, damn it. Listen. I just gotta play smarter, that's all. What are we doing here? Brutal. No custom factions. Confirm. Journey starts here. Who are we playing? Frog and Hood. <clears throat> this time, it'll be different. This time, we're going to make spearmen. Gonna drop a farm. All right, let's have a look here. I'm gonna start by building a farm on the iron deposit to get me growth and production. I'm going to cancel this archer, and then I will come in here. And I will get started on the workshop, which will give me draft and production because I need to recruit units. It's gonna be my priority: is getting my unit recruitment and my city growth up. Um, I believe I could take this stack of units with my initial army, especially if I bring my scout along. And I will have to. The engagement range on this army includes over here. So I'm going to move my main army to here. Move my scout to engage. Now, if I auto combat that, I'll lose units. But if I find it, I believe we can win this. The most important thing is that we're clearing these things efficiently. So, we're up against a gremlin, a gargoyle. Gargoyles are pretty tanky, if I recall correctly. Yeah, they got six armor, which is a 50% damage reduction. It's going to do 140 damage. They are shock units, so my spearmen should do well. An undead, 
A little bit, little bit of stuff going on here. Nothing we can't handle. Alrighty. We don't want to let that gargoyle get a charge, so I'm tempted to get up in his face. And if I mark this gremlin as prey, we could get a serious amount of damage on him. So mark as prey gives him the distracted ability. So all attacks against him are flanking. Flanking attacks deal 25% more damage. But my race is also sneaky. So we do an extra 20 damage on 20% damage on flanking. So if I were to able to get up, I want to prevent this guy from getting his charge off. His charge will be blocked. One, two. One, two, three. So he's going to stand adjacent to the pillar and get statically charged. That's a 46 damage attack. That's a 30 damage attack. One, two. My two archers together should be able to kill this gremlin. Ah, he teleports after he gets attacked. So now... Okay. That's a good start. Let me have a look at the skeleton. Skeleton can get through here. You can get around as well. Haven't given... Now, he's flying, so that's a problem. Cover with my scout unit, because the scout unit is less important. Like, militarily. Do we actually attack? No, we're going to defend. Defense mode, so that he triggers reactions and has better damage resistance. Alright, let's see what they do. There's the reaction attack. He comes up. Okay. Okay. It's fine. We're going to mark him as prey. So, he's currently taking... Uh, let's see. 30% reduced damage. So, he has about 30%... Uh, or, yeah, he, he has a lot more health than usual. Now, he has no armor. And he's going to get one shot. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, you bitch. Are you for real? Man. Okay. Sorry, I shouldn't. I, sh I shouldn't get mad when the game screws me. I should expect it. And I also shouldn't use uh, gendered slurs. That is a bad move. Bad habits. Oh. Okay. Kill this. Okay, we lost a spearman. That's fine. I can live with that. Boom, boom. Easy. Uh, bitches technically... I just said it that loud. Okay, this is how you know I'm tired. Alright guys, I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed <laughs> before I blow up a sponsor stream. Go check out the game. Check out the link. It's midnight. It's time for me to sleep. That's how I know I'm too tired. Alright. Love you all very much. I'm a host someone.